witness the strength of street knowledge. Straight out of Compton, a crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube from the gang called Niggas with attitudes. When I'm called off, I have my sod off. Squeeze the trigger, and bodies are hauled off. You too, boy, if you fuck with me. The police are gonna have to come and get me Off your ass That's how I'm going out For the punk Motherfuckers That's showing out Niggas Start to mumble They wanna rumble Mix them and cook them in a pot like gumbo Going off on a motherfucker Like that With the cat That's pointed at your Ass So give it up smooth Ain't no telling when I'm down for a jack move Here's a murder about to keep yo Dancing With a crime record like Charles Manson AK-47 is a jewel Don't make me act a motherfucking fool Me and you can go toe to toe No, maybe I'm not gonna What? Were you about to say? Yeah Come on, I thought we were getting turned up Like Elvis? I'm all turned up Mm-hmm well, you know who Elvis is, don't you? No. <laughs> oh. I'm coming straight, straight out of Compton. Fuck the police. Hey everyone! Hello everyone! What's up? <laughs> we missed y'all. Yeah, we let you all down. We said on our last stream, "Oh, we're going to try and stream more regularly." And then I got ill. Yeah, Little boots with yeah, some real life yeah. shit, and uh, it all went to the side. Yeah, womp womp. I joined a volleyball team, but I won my first game, so worth it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Let me say hi to y'all. What's up, Glory B? You were first, at least on my list. I missed your live today. I can't wait to catch up on that. She yeah, was I was still working. I managed to watch a little bit of her stream and chat a little bit, but I was working still. <laughs> Superb. What's up? The Coven. Sama dropping our links. Make sure you sub us up. Death and I both have a couple different channels, side projects, things we do, places we talk a lot. Go check them out. What's up, Sarah? Oh, good to see you. What's up, Kitty? Tone, howdy. Alicia. Who else? Who else? Who else? Catherine, what's up? That Amber chick. She's that one, not the other one. I like that. Uh, did you notice, Amber, that uh, John thinks that you and Damon Amber are the same person? That's pretty good. What's well, up, Tiffany? Let's not go over to Glory's chat where she's got all the Kates. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? <laughs> and Annie's and whoever else. <laughs> Christina. Some people are easily confused. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> long as no one confuses me for anyone we're good although that happens sometimes and it's always the fucking craziest of the crazy bitches like come on what's up yeah, i've never been confused with anyone christy yeah <laughs> <laughs> what's up christine betsy blackbird howdy i know we're glad to be back what's up rbf life be life in you know it's a thing. Lady Starfire, hello. But when Death asked me if I want to do an egg stream, I don't think I've said no yet. <laughs> so <laughs> True. here we are today. True. There's one way to get little bits. It's enticing her with a humpback. <laughs> 
listen, you know, I'll concede to that. Sure. <laughs> Here we are. Buckle up, bitches. <laughs> Do you guys like our hats? Death made our hats. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I made the whole fucking calamity of whatever is. He's got his medical marijuana card in Florida there. He's got his little finger tattoos and things of all nature. Yeah. He's off to Florida, don't you know? <laughs> Slugging Yo, his way I'm so old. When, when we first had med cards roll out in Colorado, they were like, Little freaking like letter sheets of paper, like a certificate, but like a like a legitimate like envelope, like a skinny one. It was nutty. You had to like fold it up like eight different ways, put it in your pocket. Oh, like an old fashioned driver's license when they used to be paper. Yeah. Mm. yeah, for the first like two three years, and then they switched to the cards, and then they like stopped letting you get a discount when you renewed it. So I was like, why am I paying for this? <laughs> we have rec now, so here we are. <laughs> Now well, the the next, next. Let's be honest, even if he does get a medical marijuana card, that weed's going to be done in a day or two. He's still going to have to go buy it off of a plug, isn't he now? Dude. Yeah, I don't know. He's a mess. He's a mess smoking his, I forget the abbreviation, CH. Drinking the jet fuel and doing all there's, the things. There's no reason to chemically fuck with your weed. There just isn't. <laughs> Yeah, me, there's one thing that me and Little Boots 100% agree on at all <laughs> yeah. times, and that's quality weed. <laughs> Smoke real weed. So the stuff he's smoking is supposed to be, like, really potent. It actually is. But it, like, it's so fucked with, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't smoke it. I wouldn't. It's not actually legal in my state, and my state does allow legal lots of things. So... <laughs> Yeah, little boots be taking all the supplements. <laughs> Listen, love a good supplement. Read the fucking instructions. Don't be a negs. Just know what the fuck you're doing in any past of your life. Read don't be a negs in any shape or form. Just say that. No. That'll do. Don't just take supplements that are mailed to you. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so next did a live to a live me tonight and I missed it, but I saw it and he kaboomed it straight away, so it was deleted. But it was called Silence Forever or something obscure. So uh yeah. He, I think he's a uh, feeling a certain way at the moment. But he's also gone live on Rumble tonight as well. And mm -hmm. uh Little Boots checked in and he was pretending <laughs> he was on a roller coaster. Dude, we have to see what the stupidity is because, like, is that really what they were doing? I must know. <laughs> Life is a roller coaster, huh, next. Uh, can he even ride a roller coaster? The man can't drive on the highway. Like, I don't think you're allowed on a roller coaster a little bit with all those disabilities, no. <laughs> <laughs> Too big of a risk. It's gonna leave a bad review. And don't you have to be and a so, certain height as well? <laughs> dude, well, if you straighten the hunchback out, he might qualify. You don't know what's funny. They unraveled him. Is he big enough to ride on the rides? <laughs> My little brother used to put wood chips in his shoes and run along with us to like get through on the roller He's coaster. <laughs> so that was not safe of us to do. <laughs> he did it though. It didn't die. <laughs> Isn't there more confidence putting your shoes than wood chips, though? Yeah, but you can quickly make yourself pretty tall putting a couple of those in <laughs> when you only need like an inch or two. <laughs> oh, I guess. And then you take them out. <laughs> and there's lots of wood chips. <laughs> yeah, Banks is not legal in anything. <laughs> He, he he wants to talk about his state. He loves it so much as Castle Doctrine. There are other states with very similar protections with, like, not the stupidity of Indiana. Of, like, they are so backwards in so many ways. He might be legally insane, Kitty. How about that? Ooh. Ooh. She got us there, Kitty. <laughs> he has a home disability. <laughs> 
Yeah, so we've got right. quite a small ball to go over because we've got next is uh, Rumble from the other night that I wanted to check out where he goes off about Zeph once again and all that business. And uh, they've been going back and forth on Facebook. Uh, and I think uh, Nick's got in his feelings because there was talk of his son Silas and I think uh, reference to his father in style and whatnot. Um, yeah, and then we've got, if we want to look at either Four Wicks uh, Live Me or we just check out his Rumble tonight, whatever. And then we've got a few other little delights and palate cleansers and things to go on tonight. There we go. He has a new one. Um, it's Negs Live. And hello, Vintage. Yeah, well, he has a couple of Rumble channels. He also has another one that's just called Negs. It's got 98 followers as well. But he's got not got any content on there at the moment. He's also got a YouTube channels as well. But he's not uploading to those at the minute. Right. Do you want me to pull it up? Yeah, what do you want to look at first? Do you want to look at tonight's have a little dive on the roller coaster? We could do the nights, yeah. Let me grab that. Adam, let's see if it's processed my recording. It should be. Um if my mouse will work. Okay. It's called the beauty within. Mm. How beautiful. So we've gone from silence forever on live me to beauty within on rumble. <laughs> Yo, John. Yeah, oh, it's, it's like alive. panic. What, John? You are the good John without an H. Hello. <laughs> yeah, no, he is a good John. <laughs> There'd be only one good John. <laughs> one sec. There we go. I don't want ads. Leave me alone. Sorry. <laughs> you guys, I'm working on one window. I usually have um three, and I am struggling. <laughs> Sorry. I have all the tabs open as usual. <laughs> John comes in peace. Hello. Good. <laughs> all right. Cool. Oop. I need to share before I do full screen. Duh. You're being rusty boots tonight. Listen, I have you. Like I said, I usually have three damn windows and <laughs> I have one laptop. I did bring a mouse, so I'm not. Well, I'm still kind of struggling, but. I don't like it. I'm not used to this. Yo, Rustacles. Right. Rustifer. Ooh, what I, oh, that was nice. Okay, cool. You guys see that? We're going to watch my recording. I'm about to back it up on here so we can have the chat. Oh, yeah, too. What's up, Negative Nation? Welcome to Neg's Live. Oh my. Okay, why was that so lame? Like, doesn't he usually yell his intro? Yeah, that was really lackluster, wasn't it? Now, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> like, I fell flat. I fell flat. He's really as fuck. feeling it. Yeah, sure, Restifer, leave me for peanut. Fine. Bye. The internet's the most dangerous man, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's wearing hats. Oh, yeah, we all match. <laughs> oh, my God. Would you look? Everyone, go get your hat. Go get your silly hat to wear on the beach. <laughs> look, would you? Do I have this set on right? No, it was, it was, it was, uh, set wrong the first time. I'm What's up, everybody? Welcome to Negs Live. I am Negs, and this is my shell. Uh, I don't know what we're going to be talking about tonight. I got a few things to kind of like, you know, bookmark or whatever. So if you notice in the background, like Negs has done a terrific job of hanging up DC's paintings, i.e. there's no paintings oh, of hers there? hung up. 
that there's like little like flags and little tapestry things that he's like probably blue tacked up or something or whatever taped up um, or put tacks in. But remember, like he promised that. Remember this, like it went back like before he kaboomed his other channel, and he like made this promise, and she was in chat going, "Oh yes, he's gonna hang my paintings, or whatever it fucking was." <laughs> Yeah, and then, like, like what? Well, here we are. Okay. Like, it's only been how long she lived there now, and still not one of them hung. But they're all spread out around the place now. Yeah, she's trying to spread her culture to him slowly. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't find her culture either. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's painting so much. Little Dolly's houses <laughs> everywhere. Mm. Dude, but is the one behind Nigs not that spoon guy? Like rusty spoon. Oh, it might be. <laughs> anyway, take a look at those. Well, we Painted the pot. vaginas. Yesterday, uh, <laughs> I nearly. Also, side note: I went back. We're back like eight minutes, and it's like sped up one point two five already on there. So that's why the chats might be a little ahead of us. Yeah, salad fingers. That was the name, Damon Amber. And what's up, Damon Amber? We need to have our bitch fest with Sarah. Still, we failed with that, you guys. <laughs> Restifer, you should come bitch too. <laughs> well, yeah, so. I think we're going to, uh, like, for the next stream, we might do another trash talk and uh, me yeah. and Little Boots are going to, our announcement, do you want to announce a Little Boots? I'll let you do it, go on. Surprise! I figured out my bullshit and we can monetize everybody. Yay! We're we're officially professional YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> well, we could have monetized well, we turned it on yet, so. early on, but we made a decision even when we could monetize originally, like from about our fifth stream, I think, that yeah. it didn't feel deserved. Like, and what was people actually going to like? Yeah, it's one thing to subscribe and watch a YouTuber or whatnot, but then to like pay for memberships and all the bells and whistles, you got to know what you're actually getting and. Me and Little Boots had a discussion. We know that we both had to be at a place where we can provide more regular content and, mm -hmm. you know, a members only and things like that and all the emojis. So we've got it all lined up and we're going to be stepping up to the plate a little bit more for you guys. So more to come on that later. <laughs> but yeah, isn't that exciting? <laughs> In the stream, isn't that amazing? Whoa. Isn't that amazing? I wish it were oh, because of drugs. I don't like it. I do. I really wish it were. But uh, I got to sit down. He's he's like one minute in and he's got to sit down already. But it wasn't. It wasn't because of drugs. Ermigard. Lurk Birch. Remember those memes? The, er, yeah. Anyway. No. I, it's like the third one. <laughs> The time I've gotten like faint. You're about boring. fainted. I was all up against my microphone, so I had to log off and go. You were all up against your microphone. Um, He's all cheesy, too, dick. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. What's up, Mrs. Coleman's Frenchin? He is fragile. This is what it is, man. So fragile. <laughs> Fucking stress induced. I'm telling everybody here right now. Look, look at the wall. Look, look at the mishmash. Look at what Harry's hung everything, and it's so awful as well. It just looks Why like is there fucking... so many dolls. Yeah, well, because she's like been doing all the dolls, and that like that Carsten's been sending her all the things that he's been making for her as well. She's fucking uh, doll mad. But look at like what the stuff is up on the wall and how badly positioned it is. It triggers me, little boots. Like, my OCD is just like no. <laughs> Yo, I, I kid you not. I wish I could show you guys, but it, because it says, like, the name of the house I'm at. But the p place I turn around right now, I'll have to show you guys when we get off. But I have one of those light-up signs behind me <laughs> right now. That's not my problem. It's all the other fucking shit on the wall and all the frames everywhere. And oh, I want to yeah, know what's no. rolled up there. Is that wrapping paper or is that, like, a poster? Like, I have so many questions. Why is this shit not for sale? Why is it in their media room? <laughs> Don't pet the sweaty things. 
Okay, don't what? pet the sweaty. Pet the sweaty Why? things. He said, "Don't." Why words of Nigs? Out there. Don't no, we know that we know that Nigs likes dryness. Okay. <laughs> don't pet the sweaty things. What's up, man? Hey, dude. So uh, I got several ideas today, but in the meantime, we're going to chat about the beauty within. <laughs> Keep beauty. I got the vamps. What are the vamps? Where you just fucking pass out suddenly? Um, see, now I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, that's sad, Russ. Wait, that's what? True. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Condolences to Irie, Alex. That's awful to hear. Oh. That's absolutely awful. Damn. I did wonder why he hasn't been around because the last that I, when Alex last streamed, I remember him speaking about doing more content and whatnot. And and then, like, he hasn't been around again for a long time, right? That's terrible yeah. news. Oh, how awful. We had an amazing day at the store. Thanks, my love, Claire. Thank you very much. Um, did Clara buy something? We had a great day. We sold a guitar, and uh, well, she did. She sold a guitar and a bunch of stuff. I'm like, nice. <gasps> Wait, has Negs even sold a guitar yet? Did Clara sell the first guitar? <gasps> Good job, Clara. Clara. <laughs> I got six more guitars, so y'all come in and buy some guitars tomorrow. Uh, six more? I'm I've got, yeah, all come in. Rush, stampede to the attic <laughs> to get your guitars. Why not? And there's uh, obviously um, a, there's a, a real rush on in Indiana where the you know where they all hang out down there you know downtown next next to the Narcan machine that with their guitars. Okay. Um, I'm not even really sure what. What's up? Milk is milking. Um, this is from today. We're gonna watch his one from last night as well. Um, and a couple other little clip clips. We'll tell you what they are to do with the podcast anymore because I, I i want i need to get a little bit of feedback from everybody like what is it everybody likes i cannot watch that that fat sweaty guy i like when you eat a lot of mushrooms and you'll rape us in your basement please do it again <laughs> <laughs> you like that did you is that favorable yeah. content to you <laughs> yeah. do it again do it again <laughs> dance monkey dance <laughs> Come on. That's good. I and Andy Warski. Can't do it. Can't do it. It just that the pause every three can't do it, then don't watch it. I gotta try shotgun. I gotta spark. I gotta I'm like, dude, no, 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 no. So um yes, very good day. Thank you, my love. There's DC in chat. Yeah, we're gonna be covering that too, Principal Todd. So I don't know. I spent the last couple of days having long, productive conversations with some people about some stuff and came to some conclusions about some stuff and things. So I know that's been my, at least the start of my week has been learning. I've been learning because you're never too old to learn. Yeah, we oh, got Mr. Biden on the menu. Next, you haven't even learned like a, uh, how to act like a halfway decent fucking adult at this point. <laughs> what are you fucking learning? What do you mean? He's definitely got his Compton hat on straight and he looks Wait, you can't do that about me again. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I can't stress it enough to anybody locally who may be watching. If you if you find an opportunity to get out of here and up to a better place, don't don't exchange Connorsville somewhere else or this Connorsville because there's a Connorsville in every state. Yeah. Yeah, there's tards like you everywhere, unfortunately. Why does Nick have this assumption that all of Indiana is watching him? Like, Nick, you can barely scramble oh. enough fucking tards to gather in your chat from all over the fucking World Wide Web, let alone Indiana watching you. I think, to answer your question, it's his poorly developed ego um, due to his mother, <laughs> if you had to ask. <laughs> That's why he thinks everyone's watching him and people care. Um, but if you're here, you're in the Ville, 
Um, there's probably in the Ville. To do anything, but <laughs> the Ville. Straight Bro. out of the view. <laughs> dude, I'm taking a screenshot of this fucking face, dude. You look like a toad. <laughs> Bruh, bruh, little boots, boots straight out oh. of the bin. <laughs> I mean, living his best life. That one's even better. Mary, even that's not even a flex here with the pain. You know what I'm saying? It's really not. So just just leave while you can. Um, I should have left decades ago. Yeah, that'll could, solve the problem. And being the chicken shit that I was, I didn't leave. I didn't have kids or anything. I could have just headed out to the West Coast, but. Why well, didn't either? You could have done a lot of things. You could have up and moved your family, your sons, with you, but you didn't. So, like, don't cry about it now. There's no time wasting. Like, I hate people like this. <laughs> like, let's cry about it some more because that'll help. Um, he says about I didn't have kids or anything, but Nick's had kids in his early twenties. But there was also a situation before that that pre-aligned with another woman that Nick's mm. has talked about and whined about that aborted his baby, right? Mm -hmm. So remember, Nick's, that's probably what you're busy doing instead of rushing off to find your destiny or whatever it is you think. <laughs> his destiny. And then you have children, right? He found these you don't leave because you have children. <laughs> Sorry. You don't go anywhere, so you sacrifice everything. And you do it without complaining, because if you complain, then you would just leave, because that means you don't care, right? And you sacrifice. You yeah, I'm sure you never complained once <laughs> while you were helping raise those kids. I'm sure you helped so much every day, didn't you? Yeah. Make those sacrifices. Hell, I know people who have had kids, women, up and left them. Just left them with the dad. Ah, right, here you go. Here's the kids. I'm going to California. Oh, okay, then. <laughs> well, honestly, if they pay them enough child support, that's not the worst thing in the world, Negs. Well, well I'm not really sure, John. This is what I'm saying. The timeline of Negs is this, right? He was being a little shit when he was, like, um, in high Next school. Month. Uh, it, like robbed a blockbuster, got his record expunged by his mum, kicked out of high school, got his GED at the local college instead, um, you know, uh, started bumming it around, sofa surfing, almost like semi what wasn't going home. Um, then he knocked up a girl who aborted his baby and then he went on to have four more children after that. So I don't know when he was meant to be doing all this other stuff, really. It's a good, good time. GG. I would, I would like to read you all Beth Thomas's deep words right now. <clears throat> she says, "You can plan and plan, but life always has different plans." Beth, you said plan three times, and it really bothers yeah. me. Like chromosomes, they were a plan, Beth. <laughs> I think I should. <laughs> Fedora. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. So yeah. You said, yeah, that's no joke. But Hi, Fedora. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that I can get in for therapy next week, right? And that will help me solidify. Wait, 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 next. Wait. What was that? You hope that you can get into therapy next week, but what? I thought you was on continued therapy, and you have been for like the last no. year almost. No, like he went twice. We talk about seeing your therapist and what your therapist thinks about you, and this, that, and the other constantly, like a constant reference. Like this is a part of your life that you went and sought help now, but it seems to me that you don't do it very regularly. So. What he help doesn't. is that? He doesn't because he's about to like immortal. Like he thinks that like one therapy session is like going to cure all these things that like something's going to change. Like nothing changes, Nigs. You then have to like work on things and like keep trying those different, I don't know, tools they give you or whatever the fuck you're working on, which doesn't come to you in your third fucking session that you're trying to get into. Like, yeah. Sweet. Apparently, his yeah. therapist just laughs at him. You know, she finds well, him yeah, really he, amusing. He probably because she like the one. Like your bullshit next. That's probably why she laughs at you. It's not because you're amusing. Well, and he already switched, didn't he? 
He didn't like the first one or whatever he went to. So maybe he has I done one too. I don't know. I could be being facetious. But he only has told, told They start to call him out and he's bullshit. Right, that's right. probably had something to do with it. Switching the... No, that's script. exactly what happened. They, like, asked him too many questions or something. And he was like, oh, I don't like it. They're wrong. They don't get it. And that's when he stopped going. They have been... See, I, I, I can't just stop. They don't like, get it. They told me to I, stop I, with the internet. And I told them it's my God-given <laughs> cis white male right to be on the internet. <laughs> That no, yeah, that's exactly yeah, that's exactly what happened. I, I, I they were like, maybe you should unplug, and he was like, no, I totally can. And then he did for like a day, and then he was like, they're wrong. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> and then he came back. I just stop. Like somebody says, find peace. I I, I got to know more. I need I need more context than that. But there is no more context to get that get to that because how can somebody else tell you to find something? They don't oh know my what it is. god! I don't know what it is, but it has to be found, and it can be found, right? I'm surprised DC hasn't paid for the best therapist for him by now. <laughs> Welcome to the mental health hour. With your buddy, but I guess, I like, really if she actually did fix it. him, she might be frightened that he'd actually fucking up and leave her. Leave her, you know. So maybe that's why. <laughs> Talk to do anymore here on the internet? Like, I really don't. I mean, like, um. There's been a lot of things that have helped me figure out what I'm going to do going forward. IRL. Oh, Lord, there was a seed. Oh, Lord, there's a seed. Get that out of there. Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy. I stank. Oh, God. How'd that get in there? Um, oh, I hate it when he does that. Do you see I what like he just that. did there? When no he put way. his hand to his nose, that means that he touched something on the his desk that was sticky. Next has got this oh, weird no. fucking... Yeah, he's got this weird OCD thing I mean, where like, if he touches something sticky, he has to like sniff his hand. Mm -hmm. I was going to back up so we can see it, and I'm not going to now. Even, I mean, like, I've always been a planner, right? You know, I'm a planner. I'm a planner. You're a plan. You're a it's planner true. Shirt. I'm not even making shirt. that shit up. He's spoken about that weird fucking thing that he does. Yeah. He, ew. Um. <laughs> well, she's not sticky, Glory. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no chance dusty. of that, Glory. You know, dusty and what? <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to a new life. Because. I'm very, hold on, I need that clip. I'm very much looking forward to a new life. And I am very much looking forward to a new life. <laughs> because this, this isn't. This is a part of my life, but it's a small part, right? Sure, part. right. I don't know, Negs. You've made it a pretty big piece. Yeah, I don't think you know how uh, to live without the internet at this point, Negs. You will always be on some platform, in some shape, in some form, and you know you can't constrain yourself to like not fucking whining about your little bitch life in some way. Vintage says, that's not OCD. That's autism. <laughs> Thank you for the wide sports vintage camera girl. But <sighs> the issue with living in a small town is, is everybody knows every damn thing about you because you've been here for decades. I can't wait to go somewhere where I am not known by a single solitary. <gasps> the opposite of cheers. Where nobody knows you know, his name. That's a good idea, Negs. You're just a little late in life, man. But I do think everyone at some point in their life should go somewhere and take all that's with you as you. I'm yeah, good. well, this is everybody knows this. Like, come on, anyone with two fucking brain cells to rub together knows that you can't escape yourself, and yourself is what the problem is, Negs. Okay, yeah. not that you're not on a fucking sunny beach in Florida. That's not what the issue is here. Home is never a place. It is a feeling. Keep chasing places, Nicks. Might even change my name. Change your name to what? Could, could Prince go by? Can you go by? Like, you'll you go still by, be you. Like, you'll still name? be a vile, 
fucking horrible little cretinous fucking freak of a man. That's the problem next. You will not be able to outrun that and change that. Live under whatever persona you want. Live in whatever state you want. Dress however you fucking want to. Go get a caftan. Go do everything. But you'll still be fucking you. Anyway. Nobody know me by my real name anyway. My government name is Ron Corbin. It just blends in. You know, it's part of the macaroni salad. It just blends in with everything else. Part of the macaroni salad. All right. Yeah, don't go there. I was like the whitest thing ever you could say. You could have said. <laughs> oh, um. Yeah, of course, life always has different plans, but I know there's one plan that life's not going to get in the way of. What's that? Uh, getting You're fucking working. DC's money and legging it. <laughs> <laughs> Your retirement plan? DC's <laughs> <laughs> retirement plan? Cute stoner boy reductions, huh, next. <laughs> Screw all that money away. Like, there's so much more that I, I want to do and I can't do any of it here. And, and not only that, like... But what do you want to do? Will you make us the damn music album, please? Or the documentary. Or no, the movie. The film. Or the... You know, what else he did is he, he, Like, his um, script. That's the what the cute boy, uh, Stoner Boy Productions is going to be doing. That's the movie. That's uh -huh. lame. I want the documentary. I want to know about your traumas, Pegsy. <laughs> You're supposed to tell us. <laughs> We were supposed to get the tell-all. I was going to expose everything. DC bought him the doll, you know, and everything, so he could point to where he was damaged. <laughs> On his little banana fucking I man. really wish I had been able to give my other kids this, uh, this opportunity, and that would have been to grow up somewhere um, that is a, a, a cultural vacuum, like Indiana. <laughs> It is, and I'm not just talking about you know diversity amongst races and religions. I'm just next, next. Do you want to know why places like Indiana are cultural vacuums? Because people like you live there. People like you who have no actual family familial ties, who have no sense of self, of community, of purpose, of being. So you do not create any values or community or traditions or anything. Well, you let it die. People like you let it die in places like Connorsville, Indiana. Welcome to the Ville. Well, that will happen wherever he is because he's a user. Mm -hmm. Yo, Danny. Talking about just anything cultural. Oh, <gasps> really? This is Coleman's pension. I can't wait. It's a culture. Where, you know, where's the art? Where's the music? Where's anything? We got trying. The art, the music. Aren't you the art and the music? Well, if you wanted that, why did DC move to fucking dusty Indiana with you? Why didn't you move yeah. to hers then, where you refused to even visit? Because Negs is a king of passed up opportunities. That's why. Yep, okay. You did, we do have Because he wouldn't so like it once he got it. there either, little boots, because that's the actual mm -hmm. issue here. He, mm -hmm. he says this all like it's a fucking long listed complaint, but he knows the reality is one, he wouldn't fucking want to be there. And once he, he was there, all he would do is fucking bitch about it, just like he does everything else. Yep. It's trains and, um, what else? <laughs> oh, yeah, unfinished, not finishing projects. Did he just say not finishing projects? Why? Uh huh. Oh my god. With all the people overdosing in this town, we don't see the front page of the paper covered with arrest like we used to. Dude, I'm serious. They would have like because <laughs> sometimes drug addicts just fucking do that, Megs, and it's not anyone's fucking fault. That that no that one has to get arrested. Now. A life is lost. Like fuck you. It f will forever be the veal. <laughs> If you were just there and they had a warrant and you were just there, like maybe to pick up some weed or you like, you know, you were just hanging out because you knew the people, they'd arrest you, put your uh, uh, face on the front page. I'm sure a lot of these charges. Ooh, potato. That's beautiful. Were dropped against certain people, but. 
it, it doesn't make any sense. It's like suddenly the federal government is pumping money into small towns to battle the op the opioid yeah, crisis. Yeah, Melissa. It's not even a crisis anymore. Hey, Negs, maybe maybe the government's putting money into the small towns where you live because they don't want them to just die. How dare they? How dare they? <laughs> and it's sad that the, re the thing that they think will help the most is stopping the drugs because that's all people like you do, Negs. Yeah, but the thing is, is that Nex is like, he's one of these that will kick up all the problems and point out all these things as being a problem, but he's got no solutions. Facts. True, Videl. That wouldn't even solve his problems. He'd lose it all somehow. He'd buy some stupid stock. Get talked out of it. <laughs> more of an epidemic or pandemic, it is a part of life now. It is like as natural as breathing air, a city having a, an opioid issue. They'll allow that, but then old Eric Howell will go, oh, nope, 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 we can't have medical or any kind of marijuana. God, Jesus wouldn't like that. My spaghetti monster wouldn't like that. I hate these fucking towns that function on religion. I hate it. Does it fucking totally excludes everybody else? Wait a minute, Negs, but you got a lot when it comes to say about Israel and things, huh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. He's crying about being excluded from a church he doesn't want to belong to? <laughs> He's got a big problem with anything like religious and this and that and matters that are run by religion or whatever, but he's got a lot to say when it comes to the state of Israel. Bro. So, you know, it's, it's just a cultural vacuum here. It, it, the, the culture, white. That's a I've been excluded. <laughs> 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 he's it. been excluded from his own white culture of, of the villain. <laughs> the world hates me, Pebbles. <laughs> he failed. That's what he failed at. Living in the Ville. Sad. Sad for you. Even even druggies can live there. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I I see it. I and it's painful. I see it in people's eyes. Yeah, you know, the, the, the younger people are coming to the store. I can see it in their eyes that like, you know, like because the store is like very appealing to the eye and everything. And you can just see that like there needs to be so much more than what is the store is appealing to the eye. Yeah. It, it, because it looks like a little fucking grotto of tit tat. And most people like to peruse that shit. And then they go, uh, I, I'm not going to waste my money on any of this shit, but it was fun having a look in there. Wasn't it? Yeah. And then they never come back. That's your store. That's what your story is, Nick's. Dude, sad. I'm trying to see if I have a picture of it real quick. I don't, dude. I can't work on one window. Panic. Okay. Given here, and I know that the city can only offer so much, but like, if you could pump millions of dollars into a small town to combat to combat something that is, it's not working. It's like the war on drugs. Ineffective. <laughs> Yep. Where would that money be more effective in your pocket, sir? Is that what you think it should go to? I have to wonder how much shit are they are, are they letting slide legally just so people will overdose and be done, or how much shit are they letting slide? If that was the case, wouldn't they just take out all of them, Nixie? I don't know, Nick. Why don't Why don't you phone up your plug, the one that you get your bags of shrooms from? You know that yeah. you like to pretend that you don't, but yeah, and ask them. Yeah, you know, for other reasons that we're not really going to mention. Like, what if there's like a little kickback for somebody to not intercept something? Because you don't ever, you know, ever read or hear about any drug bust anymore. Zero. Zilch. Why? They have a drug task force. I think they get about uh, as much funding. Well, like, I, don't, I don't know. They get enough to pay a, a team. So I don't understand. Oh my god, if you haven't looked up any numbers, I don't think you should talk about things you assume, Nags. Yeah. He doesn't understand how budgeting works in terms of like a, no. a social resource, right? And how many people in that town that they would have to cover that money. He hears the figures, right? And he thinks that's mm -hmm. big money, like they're earning all this money from it. But he doesn't realise like the, the, where all that money goes. And he doesn't care to actually investigate it in any regard or do his research to know where the funding goes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> did, they start, did they start getting extra breathing holes in jail for that? What? Because, again, just the other day, overdosed in the shower, 
of a nonprofit that, that gives clean needles to people. Wow. <laughs> wow. What should they do about that? Happen. Yeah. And you know what? The next how happen. often that like current running... like, like a lot of people that overdose, unfortunately, will, will like often take themselves off into a bathroom or whatnot, you know, and they're often unfound because of that reason. Because they're out of the way. They don't just like necessarily like jack up in the middle of the street and are found mm -hmm. and like taken to a hospital. And that's what makes it all the sadder. And just because it was a place that actually is meant that, to help people doesn't mean that this thing doesn't occur, that they've got active addicts there, you know, and shit is fucked up. And like people mm -hmm. do stuff like that. And it's sad when it happens. And the fact that you fucking display no level of empathy for anything to do with that situation and to you, like somehow they're not doing their job because it happened on their premises. What are you fucking talking about? It's so sad. It's sad too, knowing that he has a friend who was like, you know, taken out by something like this. Like, you have no exactly. empathy, no sympathy. What what if that was just like your friend? Like, what if that's what had happened? Exactly. Like, <laughs> and apparently, like, that person, like, was at least the, an ambulance was called for them. Sadly, they were lost anyway, but an ambulance was called for them. Whereas this person went off into a bathroom. And no matter how greatly manned that place is, that connection cafe or wherever it fucking is, any sort of resource, really, it, there's no like cameras in bathrooms next because of like people's privacy laws so like these things are going to happen unfortunately non for profit to help people and someone overdoses in your property boy we got the fuck out of there just in time property values down there just just fucking bottomed out that's why they don't care about the building across the street with the big hole Dude. in the roof <clears throat> well, you didn't care about it, so. There's no buildings over where I'm at that have, you know, buildings with big gaping holes that vultures fly into. Yeah. <laughs> and they're actually going to be putting me a sign up. Yeah, isn't that cool? In fact, let me check my, 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 my email real quick. So we failed at revitalizing the downtown. The All right, I'm skipping a little bit. Email. Where's his horror story of the roller coaster? Sign. I got to build a box, so I got time. Yeah, you know, three months. I'm already got a sign by the road. You know, obviously, that's the bit that I want to get to is the roller coaster. <laughs> He's already got a sign by the road. What does it say? The attic. Click for fun. We've got to listen to more of him bitching on that other stream about Zeph yet. So I'm like, yeah. let's get to the roller coaster. It is fucking. It just, to me, this looks fucking dumb. I mean, if you got other stuff, you know, on the, I can see that. But like trying to advertise a business to people, whatever. <sighs> whatever downtown is a because I, everybody everybody uh, tell <laughs> welcome to your new world this is your new world that's your new downtown long gone are the pawn shops mom and pop shops the movie theaters courtesy of pfizer <laughs> the market is, it was a step down i don't need that much goddamn dope holy shit at that point it's just dope it's not even medicine it's just getting high Hold on. I would like to listen to this part. I didn't do that. It wasn't OxyContin, but it was a step down. Addicted. Yeah, buddy, they fucking marketed the shit out of, marketed the shit out of OxyContin. Told them it wasn't addicted or anything. Lied their oh. asses off. And then, like I told you what I took, I didn't do that. It wasn't OxyContin, but it was a step down. And it didn't make any sense. Like, I have back pain, knee pain, leg pain. And it's intermittent, but like, I don't need that much goddamn dope. Holy shit. At that point, it's just dope. It's not even medicine. It's just getting high. When you're taking one of those with a Soma and, and a Klonopin, I, my first question was, am I going to die taking all of this? Oh, no, you'll be fighting. Yeah, that dude's in jail, by the way. Did you research any of this shit? God damn. Research fuck all. And, God like, he damn. never did. And he's not got anybody fucking that's uh, compass mentis enough, like, in his community that would research it for him now. So, you know, this is why he's such a fucking mess. And he just mm. talks absolute dribble nowadays. Yep. He got a little crazy with that prescription paid. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I'm one of the lucky ones, though, because I walked away. I walked the fuck away. A lot of people, I watched a lot of people I didn't know. You're one of the lucky ones, and you have absolutely no sympathy for any of the fucking people that you are about to mention right now. 
the way you behave now. The coal. Here's a roller coaster story. Dude, three a day, 10 milligrams. Holy fuck. First time I took one, they kicked in the hair, like the hair stood up on the back of my neck. It's crazy stupid. Um, I don't know. I just, I just. Oh yeah. Now let's glorify taking drugs. Cause I hate addicts, but I'm just going to glorify my drug use. That's wipe. Pick a side. So you had me on a bill of Y. A bill of Y. Oh. Um, You're an addict was, with a prescription. I, next. I don't know, because you're manic as fuck, and they recognize that, maybe. Mm. Yo, Bri. I mean, if you need the pain medication, take it. But if you don't need it, don't take it. Like Adderall, if you're if you're staying up the three days in a row from one, you don't need it. You, it's that you don't need it. You don't have ADHD or something. You just don't need that. I took Adderall and took a nap. <laughs> So obviously, after you can't tell that. people what they need next because the chemical of the brain is different for everything, everybody, anyway. You know, and whatever your diagnosis is, is not one thing fits all kind of thing, even in that sense. So you can't say, Oh, don't bother taking this to people. <laughs> no, I totally think you should take uh, medical advice from Nick's. Totally yeah, yeah. Have, have a look at that. Him. What's on? He fucking walked away from that. Right he didn't become an look addict. Look at that face and just take your fucking advice from that. <laughs> <laughs> they call my mom. Can you go get the kids? Let's call my guy. Bro, why is your like? Ah, all the way over your eyebrow. Because see, years prior, Adderall used to have a different effect on me. So That's I why I had to wrong nope. wonky little boots as well. You know? <laughs> uh, years prior, it was closer to fucking math. I told you, it it happened to me twice. Two days in a row. Wonky, I was wonky mind. I was like, here, you can dispose of these. If you, or you can take them. Whatever you do, I don't care what you do with them. I just don't want them. Weird. Fuck you. Dream prior to the stream. Um, I kind of like skipping through Nick's. Like you just get enough, and you're like, "Yep, <laughs> I know what's going on." <laughs> weird, kind of weird vibe. He's still on one point five. Like everywhere I'm at, like probably every place but the store. And I guess that's because it's like a business that's neutral. I just don't feel. I don't know. It's hard to explain. I don't feel at I home. I just don't it's not like feel. It's, I don't know. Not like at home, but I don't feel like I belong. I guess in a lot of places. Then make yourself feel that way, Nicks. They're your feelings. Holy God. <sighs> And that's probably, a, a, it's not an insecurity thing. Uh, you all can say it is, but it's like, even, you know, like, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I'm like, it's a lot know, of things, but mostly stupidity. Or, you know, like, where I'm trying, like, I've been trying to figure out where I, I belong in the world. Aww. This is a man who's <laughs> nearly 50 years old, nearly 50 years old, right? And you've got numerous children of your own, yet you still don't know who the fuck you are. Because you've lived, like, most of your fucking life, like, through this weird fucking narcissistic persona. And therefore, you're flailing around when it comes to actually identifying who the fuck you are now. Well, you know what, Christina? It's probably on actually 1.2. You know, where do I belong at? Where, where am I supposed to go? Where, you know, what, what's going to be good for not just me, but, but for, my, for my son? Shit like that. You have plural sir or did yeah. you forget well is it any wonder that he's older like ones like don't really look at him in that regard no wonder they don't bother with you if you don't even fucking think of them and pluralize when it comes to like your children a part of me feels like that's good and i'm proud of those boys for standing up for themselves and you know, not allowing negs to fucking suck some other life out of them. Um, but, like, at the same time, it's so fucking sad, dude. It's sad because, let's say for this example, if one of them did happen to fucking tune in, just on the off 
chance, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they heard him refer to all I care about is what happens to me and my son, singular. That sucks. Yes, Melissa. I want to tell you after the last couple of years of all the, the, the absolute it's, uh, intrusions into our life, you know, I know I, it's, I've never felt more uneasy in my life about where I live. That's thanks to people on the internet. Um, and not only yeah, definitely the people on the internet. Definitely not your fault at all. Only that, like this, this, this place really, it really is a cultural vacuum. I mean, people spend more time. On he really uh, is like, ranting for like ten minutes about this cultural vacuum. Yeah, he's a lot, isn't he? Where's the sad story? All right, we're on a mission now. <laughs> Okay, they're talking about roller coasters. I backed up. Roller coasters and all that jazz, right? Remember the King Cobra? What about King? Oh. Well, Niggs has got this thing at the moment where if he looks at bigger locales, he thinks he's no longer a locale. <laughs> but that's not how it works. <laughs> he's been vindicated, Death. <laughs> Things oh, yeah, are different now. Things are oh, different yeah. now. Hush me, I'll climb back in my iron arms. Uh, Mrs. Coleman's pension is it within the watching of the of the roller coasters? That's the deal. I guess there's no volume to this. Yeah, that's probably recorded like 1984. I know I wrote this right, and I was like uh, 11, <gasps> and I was a rather small 11 year old. Here it is. And it scared the fucking shit out of me. I don't think I ever wrote it again. Yeah, that's standard I though. He Did can't you help your but pants? leap. He dribbles a load of nonsense. He gets inside his own head. He says half the things that he wants to say because he knows that everybody's going to use it against him. But he still leaks a load of fucking nonsense out of him that you've got to try and join the dots on. My little brother threw up on the Hulk roller coaster at Universal one time. Oh, no. <laughs> I remember this. Slowly approach this and then they, now, you're, now you're fucked. Now you're off. Take Go on, next. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. <laughs> he remembers it. Will he tell us what he shit his pants? Does he, uh, does he let oh us know? Oh, God, dude, yes. And it's a stand up coaster. Stand up. Yeah, now you foot. Yeah, it was for its, its time. I think it had, double, it had a double loop, was it? I don't know. No, nope, it was one loop. There's that, no that's, loop. That's pretty much it, I guess, right? That's, that's the ride. That's how quick it's over. Yeah, there's always a loop with next. <laughs> Little groups, come on now. He expects was, a loop. He lives in a loop. <laughs> that was the terrible roller coaster he was so afraid of. But the white guy bought everybody else at the polos. Here you go, Larry. Here you go, Larry. Overpaid Honda, whatever the hell. Is that the rider can do knee bends freely? Oh, hey, Although hey. Supported by a safety device. Take it easy. Take it easy. My feet were in the air, dude. Like, seriously, my feet were in the fucking uh, air. I thought I was... No, they weren't. The, the chair moves to you. It doesn't lift you up. I, Niggs, I don't think you understand uh, physics and gravitational pull. Well, no. He can't even comprehend sex quite clearly. Well. Driving? I felt like I was dying. No, I felt like I was dying. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fucking dramatic. I thought I was dying. <laughs> <laughs> he just watched the ride, okay? He goes, oh, that was it? Yeah, there's that twelve was year olds eggs on that ride that are not even flinching, and you're like, I thought I was dying. <laughs> you fucking pussy. It's traumatic. Okay, he was eleven. That was probably around the same year his teacher hung a pizza pan around his neck. You know, he was fragile back then. I don't know. Maybe he had the pizza pan on around his neck at the time. He thought he was going <gasps> to get all fucking caught up. On okay, I will accept that answer, eggs. You probably were. The <laughs> <laughs> what, what I felt like. Oh. Me too, Kitty. Listen, fear and excitement are the same emotions, so I'm a peeker over the edge person. I think he should rock the rush. pizza pan now, like he's like some fucking flavor flav. Go for oh, like your Colton you. hat. Yeah. We need to know. Why don't you slow it down? Because it's way Russians more terrifying. Than from it. Steve Dye. Gravity bears upon the rider, and his knees move with the motion. <laughs> then there is a sensation of release. Oh. Sensation of release, huh? This music isn't right. 
like this something is weird. Gotta be a, uh... he's is he so... like trying to prove how, prove how traumatizing it was? That looks it like makes kind of funny. so cool up in his own little bubble and his own little world. This tells you how defunct he is and how he's unable to move on with any part of his life ever. It tells you. He just watches this roller coaster ride. Every this moment in his one? life, anything that's ever affected him in uh, some possible <laughs> negative way or connotation to it, he'll just like literally go over it again and again in his head, even if he didn't have the footage. You know that's the case. And this is why he can't move on. Jana doesn't like Ferris wheels. Fun fact, she's too fat to go on them. Yeah. She's the size of a fucking Ferris wheel. <laughs> Did I just like looks up a bunch of shit? Oh, this is that skateboard coaster. That's kind of cool. Wood ride. I don't know. Oh, holy. Wow, that's pretty insane. Pretty insane. Oh my it's, god, no. It's like way worse than the other one that you told said that you shit your pants on and then never rode again because you're a big fucking bitch baby. This is, looks like fun as fuck. Dude, I love roller live coasters. A little. I don't know about you. Yeah, I, I've got no fear when it comes to anything like that. Uh, yeah. It's just strange. Like it. Same reason I like haunted houses. Like, yeah, you get scared, but I like it. <laughs> no, me too. i got no... Qualms on getting on any fucking roller coaster, the wow, faster, dude. the higher, the better, all of it. That's all it does. Wow. Um, this is quality content. Uh -oh. at the park for the company picnic. I'm they skipping real far. Seven story tall tower. This is really what he does. This is right. so strange. This is so strange. Why is he even bothering with this? I mean, Jesus, Nix. I mean, even to waste your time looking at this, like, in your downtime, if you wasn't streaming on the internet, would be, like, a waste of your fucking time. But let alone the fact that you're making everybody else, like, in your tiny little fucking community, watch this shit with you for what reason now? <laughs> his girlfriend can't be bothered to turn up into his chat have you know it's that even dc hasn't got time for your shit things <laughs> no she came in to get her little salesman shout out about the guitar and then she left no she's only all about if he's covering somebody that she wants him to like oh yay the i dubs drama and things of that you know, <laughs> then she gets all like yeah. you know excited Melissa's well, living the life. She's gonna drink margaritas and watch people. That's funny. That's what my mom, one of my brothers, does because they have motion sickness. <laughs> Airplane. I, I think I'm insane. I'm like I, I'm like I'm on this yeah, plane. I don't I know shit about this plane. It can be held together by duct tape. Wait. I'm Airplane. What? Life to chance. I don't know, but I, I only heard the last bit where he said, "I think I'm insane," and I said, "I concur." So yeah, whatever he said before, <laughs> I, that, I don't really again. care. These machines and, and just take, throw life to chance. I'm okay, back it. Dude, when I get on an airplane, I, I think I'm insane. I'm like, I, yeah. I'm like, I'm on this fucking, I don't know shit about this plane. It could be held together by duct tape. I don't know. Thanks. Thanks. Do you even know shit about your car? Do you know shit about your house? Do you know shit about your chair you're fucking sitting in? You do not. Ugh. You are a qualified fucking pussy, Negs. I'm just telling you. That is the only thing that you haven't fouled out in life is being a fully fucking qualified pussy. Everything you're fucking like a nervous Nelly about, is this going to happen? Is that going to happen? Is this gonna... it like, you, it, like a fucking doomsday person or something. You want some shit to happen, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what the, the, the kind of day the, the pilot has had. I don't know anything about anything going on. Fuck it. Let's go. Right. Facts, Ronnie. Let's see here. Um, wow. Video live part two of uh, that this uh, Kings Island documentary. And uh, much later on. Bleh, bleh. That's it. That's all she wrote. Boring. Yeah, boring, as usual. Damn. You know, his so, trauma wasn't even that good. That wasn't even a good coaster. Before we hop into the 
next thing. I'm going to bring up um, this. Oh, boy. Dun, dun, dun. You see that? Uh-huh. Okay, so on this is uh, Def Monarch on Facebook here. He's been posting uh, one here just two days ago if you're bored, blah, blah, blah. But the one underneath was more interesting here. Where it says, reminder, the band isn't done. One of us is on break. The other was let go. And I've been put into a Trent Reznor type situation. This summer I will be finishing the Death Monarch album um, without vocals. Yes! When my singer returns, we will, yeah, without vocals. So that just means all these shitty fucking guitars with, like, tracks. I'll, I'll take it. Out. I'll take it. Um, stay tuned. Greatness isn't created overnight. Um, and here we have Zeph on here, as you can see. And he said, <laughs> good God, worst decision I ever made. I hope you can make <laughs> that happen, though. <laughs> <laughs> And next being the little petty betty that he is, he puts a, a battery on the battery. <laughs> Sorry, what the hell? Wow. I want the album. My so, next. And apparently there's been more of a back and forth between them, but he deleted load, which like on that next live um, that he did. Uh, the Finner Get Dragged one, where he talks about Zeph in this situation, he says basically that he deleted a bunch of shit as well. So, we can hop into that if you want next, and we cover that. It's only like the first 20, so maybe 25 minutes. Um, oh, you got it pulled up? Oh, Yeah, yeah. Oh, cool, because I had it as well. Yeah, I skipped the intro as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think it picked up where you had it, but I'm quick on the pause game, so. Nice. Right. You'll just have to remind me of a couple timestamps. Yeah, I know. Um, I yeah, so watch, we're going to watch like the first 20, 25 minutes where he talks about Zeph and all this situation and to do with his kiddo Silas and, uh, yeah, you'll hear little bits and pieces that he gives away because he can't help talking about this shit and then wonders why everybody else talks about it. Um, and then I think he watches a bit of content or whatever you want to call it. And then about 34 minutes, we want to hear another bit and then we can jump another big portion and watch the last 10, 15 minutes. That's all we want to get out of this. Cool. <clears throat> so he's wearing that... So what we just watched was today's. This was the day before's. Is he wearing the same hat set up? Okay. Hope you're all doing well today. Yeah, yeah, I know he was talking about wings. Yeah, yeah. Listen to how boring he is. He's been watching all this content, and I think DC is suggesting it. She was suggesting that he watches the Kino Casino and i dubs and you know uh, larry's looking wings and he doesn't know anything about these fucking people and it's evident i hate when dc suggests topics they always suck yeah they do so like dc i don't understand that like negs like he's dumb as fuck dc he well he does as she tells him because like, then he gets he gets a nice uh, little cash out from his benefactor d higgins then doesn't he <laughs> Yeah, entertain the old ladies next. The two of them. What's up, my love? My oh, love. Man. I am a Facebook poster and deleter. <laughs> yeah, so he deleted a bunch what of a stuff. Bitch. <sighs> Lame sauce, Nags. Be a man. Show us your well, words. They went back and forth at it, and I think something to the ilk of his fatherhood, like, or being a father is in question, and um, Zeph, to some degree, is a better fucking father figure to his uh, son Silas than he is. And uh, Negs gets his knickers in a twist about it. 
Ugh. And I would highly recommend that to somebody else. I'm not going to be mentioning any names during this broadcast because if anybody watches, they will know. Um, <clears throat> trying to figure out. What is this stupid lamp thing? Like, they just hang that on the wall? No, this, is his, this was Nexi's job of when she fucking asked him um, to put all the things up for her. And he was like, oh, yeah, this weekend I'm going to be putting up her fucking pictures or whatever, her frames. Right? <laughs> this is what he did. He literally, like, nailed up a couple of little fucking things. Like, you see, like, it, the, he's not hung one picture at all. Well, he did put up that rusty spoon guy and that weird lamp thing. Yeah, but they're yeah. not. He, did, he hammered really, like two nails. Like, uh, he is right. such a man. Wow. And they're the worst. Like, I've never seen anyone put up anything like it. They're all, like, bundled up in the, clunched up in the corner together. <laughs> and, like, That's a mess. they're not straight and they're not, they're, there's no, like, yeah, he shouldn't have been allowed to put anything on the walls. You know what? You should hang up next. Next is DC's diplomas. I want them right on the wall with all that junk. <laughs> Dress this gingerly without making things worse. Well, why have you got to dress it gingerly or whatever at all, next? Why is it that you still haven't learned your lesson about coming online and talking shit, whether it's about Zeph, whether it's about your son, whether it's about the situation? Why are you not concentrating on real life fixing the fucking relationship between you and your son rather than coming online and fucking putting more fuel on the flames? Yeah, why even address it publicly? Why not just, like, talk to him and then, then it's a problem fucking when we win. fucking talk about it, right? So us doing this stream and talking about this situation will be a problem to you. But you're the one putting it online. You still haven't learned that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you, sir, you know who you are, sir. We've we've. You've had words with uh, my my neighbor, and you had word. You have any words with me today? You made up a you made up a horrible horrible accusation. Which let me let me tell you about your accusation. Uh, what? That is something that you had to bounce around in your head and then type out. I want you to think about that. Something that you that you know isn't true, <laughs> and of that nature, you yeah. Just what do you guys think the accusation is? So he's talking to Z most likely, and. He accused him of something. Well, I think Zeph said something about Negs doing some mm. fucked up shit in his past, maybe with people that he shouldn't have done of certain ages or maybe something of that ilk, because I think this is where to Negs alludes that he's his good old-fashioned. He doesn't actually say it, but you know how he likes to band everyone a mental P word. So I think this is where the, we're, we're going down that path now. And then he implies that uh, if Zeph is going to touch one ha hair on his son's head as well. Yeah, it goes real weird. Just like all these other fools out here. We have a, we have a name for it, but I'm not going to label that you with that because, uh, yeah. Oh. Claiming that you've been minding your own business. Claiming that you have been minding your own business and haven't been talking shit. When every time I see somebody, they say you've been talking shit about the shop talking shit about me and then the next time i talk to somebody they say they walk into work and you're talking shit about me so like it's like it's all you talk about okay and the messages you gave me today cleared everything up for me it really did it did um how you would be a better father figure to someone is beyond me see i swear to god wow. this is very so it was said whether it be by zeph or by silas himself Either Roy has said that Zeph is a better father figure. And now next is question, how would you be a better father figure than me? <sighs> a better father figure to someone is beyond me. But I swear to God, I swear to God, if anything happens to him because you are guiding him, we're going to have it. We're going to have an issue. Okay. I'm just going to. He's 20 years old. He's 20 <sighs> years old. He's more than an adult in the eyes of the law, right? First and foremost, 
All right. So he's accountable for himself at this point, Negs. So if anything fucking happens to him, like it's nothing to do with anybody's fucking uh, like advice or anything, because God knows you haven't probably given him any fucking great advice from looking at your own fucking state and circumstances and your own fucking relationship. Like, why are you not concentrating on fucking fixing that rather than continuously talking more shit about the situation? say that right now because he only knows how to talk shit that's why sorry <laughs> also you're lying you're slandered that type of shit like i don't even know why you're thinking about that it stops today but if a single solitary hair on his head is even touched because of you we are going to have an issue my friend because of him what about because of you father failure yeah you deemed it okay for yeah. both your sons the, the the eldest one and the one that lives with you to be in a household whilst you had that drummer in the house you deemed it far more than okay and it took zef to point out that it wasn't okay not just because of his own addiction mind and like his previous issues in that sense but why the fuck would you have anyone that's like in active addiction in your household around your own children? It seems to me that you're more likely to put your own fucking children in harm's way. Yeah. We are going to have a serious issue. Um, because that's, you know, you know what I'm talking about, bro. I know what you're into. I know what you're into. Mm -hmm. Um, nobody nobody got fucked over nobody did nobody got fucked over um it was a battery and a pedal that i bought with my money see this is nobody this is got what fucked I over no nicks you're a petty little fuck and it started off with a battery right and zeph didn't even realize that you had your panties in such a twist about the battery at the time and you let it stew for a week when zeph said that he had to take some time off because he had family coming in and things to take care of and whatnot and you took that as an opportunity to get in the one person that Zef told you that he didn't fucking like and you got him in there and you thought there you go that's me a way of you putting the knife in and like turning it sort of thing whilst he was away that week because you felt away about a stupid battery you ruined your friendship over a fucking stupid battery yeah, and I thought Negs cried about him getting fucked over. So if no one got fucked over, then what's the problem? Mm-hmm. Well, literally uh, taking money that should be mine. Uh, I guess you could call that theft. And then I got people allowing me to... Taking my Negs, if you gave it to him, it's not the same thing. You goddamn idiot. Spent a bunch of money to try to help them get started, and they say that I fucked them over. That's very interesting, too. Um... Well, you when you when jealous. you get the rest of his possessions and throw them down the <sighs> fucking hallway and break them up, yeah. I guess that's some compensation, right? And then you're even Stevens. <laughs> There's fair. So the poofy hair guy, you were you because you thought I was trying to replace you with him, which I was not. I was trying to add to my business that I had my money, 10K. No, you sought out the one person that he had an issue with. And he confided in you that he had an issue with this particular person. And because you're a petty little fuck, you sought that person out. And it was nothing to do with your business that you needed to acquire their services. And I'm sorry, your 10K, Nix? Um, no. And you want to you wanna DM me and tell me that you, you've left me alone and dropped it when you haven't. Don't gaslight me, motherfucker. But I promise Not you, gaslighting. Are, people are grown men. They can make the decisions, their own decisions. They can do whatever they want, right? Well, how about this, though, Nick? <laughs> like, even if Zeph hasn't fucking dropped it, right, into the sense that he's still got some fucking personal issues with you, he hasn't been online or in people's chats that I've seen for quite a while now. So maybe he was saying to you, let's draw the line and not take this, like, onto like the internet right so keep it on that level but you can't do that even 
because here you are yeah. speaking about it online. So then if Zeph does come back around these parts and start talking about you online again, I guess that's justified because you've done that. And yes, Snakes, your kid is an adult and can make his own decisions and has decided to not talk to you anymore. And I think that that's something you really need to fucking think about, man. Well, the fallout with Silas <laughs> occurred before this Zeph fallout. This is mm -hmm. the other thing. He wants to pinpoint the fucking blame towards Zeph like he poisoned his fucking son against him. But he's some <laughs> seeing stuff with his own fucking eyes, right, and having his own fucking problems with his dad, obviously, to uh, for that fallout to even start fucking happening before this shit went down. Silas also had yeah, a problem that. with the way that Neg spoke to Zeph as well. And I guess he didn't like being around his dad who was acting like a fucking arsehole. It wasn't fun being in a band if your dad's just going to be a fucking arsehole. When your dad's just talking a bunch of Neg's words, quote unquote, gay shit with everyone, making everyone uncomfortable. Could you imagine that being a kid and your dad, like it's him and one other guy and then you and your dad's just like popping off this weird, crazy stuff. Talking about butt sex and poop all the time. Like, I'd be weirded out too. Well, it's funny you should say it, hold that thought because Nick says oh. a bit in uh -oh. this stream. And this is the bit I'll show you because I clipped it and it's just this. Well, come visit. We'll, we'll, we'll strip down to our, uh, we'll strip down to our fucking, uh, skibbies and, uh, skibbies and wrestle with body oil all over us. It's not gay. Now that's what he says that we have clipped y'all. Imagine what he says in the basement with only Negs's own recording software recording. <laughs> like... Um, Danny, did you forget where you're at? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> they choose that you choose. I'm not. If a single solitary hair is hurt. That's it. Oh, Megs, you are saying this right now and making these threats like you don't have one of your fucking kids that isn't... Oh, I just can't. I just can't. Same. Well, don't worry. He's only got one son, Little Boots, so none of this should matter, really. No, right. I now forgot. Run off and delete your lies on Facebook because... I'm going to tell you this right now. I've got way more people in my corner than you do yours. Negs, you're talking about your son's relationship with you, his father. And you're counting fucking people on either side? Goddamn. And by the way, Negs, if this is how you truly feel about Zeph, let's pay this to mind. You're the one that put this person around your son, not just your one son, but also your other son. Because remember, you was inviting Zeph and Casey over for dinners and all kinds of things, right? So you was more than comfortable to put him around your children. So if that's how you truly felt, how comes you did that then? Yeah, for real. Um. To see you sit there with that other woman and pretend that this, that, 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 like, see, I thought things were squashed because the guy came in, we gave the fist bump and, and, and all that. And all I did was reply that, hey, now you know how I feel with all these backstabbing two faced fuckers out here, right? And then the, 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 then the mother, the stage mother, commences to say that I'm acting like some other fucking fool in town. I'm like, what? What? Like what? What? Who am I holding back? Like, like people think that I, I don't know what people think uh, in this town. I don't. Um, yourself for one, and then anyone else, unfortunately related to you. Therefore, like, how's that hard to understand? You just you were just crying about it in the other one. Yeah, yeah, literally saying that like how like fucking is a small town and everyone fucking hates him and whatnot. You are the problem, Nick. Your it. reputation precedes well, I, you, and none of it is good. People think that I, I don't know what people think in this town. I don't fucking understand if it's a fluoride they dumped into the fucking water. I don't understand if it's inbreed. Um, it, it might be your actions that they've witnessed with their own eyeballs and earballs. Maybe that. 
Maybe that. You ever think of that, Nix? Getting the film most it's of it. What it is. I don't understand what it is, but I have had absolutely enough of Connorsville, Indiana's shit. <gasps> He's had enough of the Ville. Oh, this is where he talks about escaping to the beaches of Florida. Hence oh, the fun now. Let's go. Yes, hence the fun now, everyone. The yeah, this is what it'll make all sense now. <laughs> we have people get like the other day, people out waving guns around and car chases and people get shot in town. Says the guy who free balls a pew pew in your track pants. That tells me that Bro. this has not spent any real legit time uh, in Florida because if he thinks that Indiana is bad, like you need to spend more time than just a week or two on holiday in Florida. Trust me, next coming from someone that's lived in Florida, I know what I'm talking about. Mm hmm. Yo, you should move to Florida, Negs. I can't wait till the first motherfucker beats your ass. Hope they film it. We'll find uh, the oh, video. The overdose? Guess where the overdose happened? Did I tell you guys where the overdose happened? It happened at the Connection Cafe. Yeah, because no one overdoses in Florida. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you where at the Connection uh, Cafe that it um, that it happened? In the shower inside the building. Why are you thinking about that so much? In the shower, in the building. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Does it does it matter? Would it have been better if he was outside on the street? Would it, oh, would that have been better? Does it matter at that point? A life still lost. Does it fucking matter? He and DC are big fat fucking hypocrites, and admittedly so. Right at this point, how can they not be? Because everything that they project onto others about what they should or shouldn't be doing, they do themselves on a massive scale and have done continuously. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. like when DC was pointing fingers at AK, being like, "Oh, don't do <laughs> this, AK," and then she gets herself in fucking trouble with Hussy, which was so fucking funny. <laughs> Still love it. That was beautiful. I like that DC can just like continually prove like accidentally that she is Queen Hippo. Next mm -hmm. is King Hippo. And Principal Todd says that he won't last in Florida. I agree. <laughs> he, Florida would be a rude awakening for him. Like Negs, you might be in an all white town. Like white is not the majority in Florida. I mean, maybe it is in the whole like census, but like. No, not really. Middle there's, school there, there's, there's, we were like a third. Heavy. Like, there's so. a good heavy mix of, like, Cubans, you know, and, yeah, uh, blacks, whites, everything. There's a bit of everything in Florida, especially the closer you get to Miami, even more so, you know? <laughs> One sunburn and he's done. Good times. And somebody was awfully concerned that I was going to be sent videos. Wow. Are you concerned? I I'd be concerned, too, when, like, somebody's literally still has a property that is also being leased out to somebody else, which is already paid for you know what's really beautiful too is like florida florida's a fucking shithole unless you have money and negs doesn't have money so he's gonna live in the shithole part <laughs> well yeah i lived i lived like near the beach in florida and it's expensive to live like location uh -huh. based so you know in florida um yeah and pretty close to miami so it's yeah the closer you get to there the, the higher the prices yeah yeah, you, you kind of got to pay to be in a good spot. Otherwise, you are not in a good no, spot. He's going to be in a shitty part of fucking Florida, you know, miles away from all the good beaches. Yeah, but there are absolutely no drug addicts there and absolutely no overdoses at the all. Part, and they never the occur in the shower. I'm never, telling you ever. now, the parts that he will be able to afford to live in. <laughs> Um, him and DC included, like even with all her inheritance, uh, even if they buy a property, rent a property, whatever. Um, yeah, th th those are going to be areas that you're going to have a lot of guys on BMX bikes, bikes like going pss, pss, to you down the alleyway. Uh huh. 
But how funny will it be, you guys? Like, just picture this. Negs moves to Florida. He has nothing to complain about, right? Because Florida is so sunny and nothing bad happens there. And all of a sudden, he has to come online and cry about shark attacks and how, like, they're being no, targeted no, on no, the I beaches. I had <laughs> with me one time. I was out for a walk, had my book, had my bottle of water. And you get these big, like, palm fronds, like, on the fucking sidewalk. And I thought it was, like, one of those big palm fronds in front of me until it started moving towards me and I was like motherfucker it's an alligator <laughs> <laughs> yeah terrifying or by DC, the end of our lives, can literally be surrounded by alligators <laughs> just like she wanted to be <laughs> they get that right but yeah what I'm getting like I said I'm getting the fuck out of here y'all gonna be stuck here you are. I don't give a shit who gets mad at me. I don't give a shit who this, that, and everything. It's not worth it, Fedora. It's not. And I apologies to anyone who lives in Florida. I used to once upon a time. But listen, pretty soon it's going to be underwater. Like, either go up or don't. Yeah. <laughs> but don't like cry Dubai. about it when it happens. You've seen what's <laughs> fucking going on with Dubai at the moment. Yeah. Think in between, because I am going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. And, um, I simply just don't. I mean, like, I care about my business. I care about my family. But there are a lot of fucking people out there. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. Like, seriously, get a, get a bad batch. Somehow. Hey, next. It's hey, next. Yeah. News flash. No one gives a fuck about you. Or about who you give a fuck about. Not one fucking person apart from fucking mongoloids like fucking beth and jenna give a fuck about your dusty drawers over there apart from that you've got fucking no one in your corner so you want to be like oh i only care about my family and this and that and well most normal people in this world actually do put their friends and their family and people that they actually care about in their real lives first most people don't put internet fucking shit first anyway Dude, and um, this man who was just, what, complaining about someone ODing uh, is now telling someone to go get a bad batch. Yeah. What yeah. do you oh, want, yeah. Nick? It's lovely, what isn't do you it? Want? He says that, get, go get a bad batch. That's so nice. And he wants to cry about, like, his best friend and other people dying of this and blah, 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 and the problems that you... And you don't give one solitary fuck, Nick. It's not when you well, say... You know well, what would fix like that? that? More death. And then he wonders why no one gives one fuck about anything that he's got to say or moan about. It happens to everybody. Somebody just overdosed in the shower of a nonprofit that's supposed to, I don't know, I guess they went in, got their needle, their clean needle, went and took a shower. I guess that's allowed. Then they're open seven days a week Is and they got more staff than they have uh, people in there. Is that true? <laughs> no, I guess, I, guess I went true. a little overboard. And then, mm-hmm. They're open. I hope they stay open forever. So the unit's showing up and they're wheeling people off. And, uh, I mean, like, uh, wow. I know there's some other guys that are going to be doing business down there at night. I hope that some of you carry. I do, because that that that, that area at night. Here's the thing, too, Niggs. If everyone had the same mindset as you, and if one fucking person can spoil, like, your good-heartedness or willingness to help someone, like, that's fucked up. If everyone yeah, was like you, this world eggs. would suck so imagine much more. Imagine 15 eggs were walking around in a mall with their fingers on the trigger. Imagine all looking for danger signals. <laughs> Paranoid. Like, just because one motherfucker couldn't do it, that means you shouldn't help the next person. That means they should just close their doors. Up, oh, they failed. Close up. You didn't do it. They shouldn't ever try again. They shouldn't ever help out anyone else ever. Next has never helped anyone. Let's be real. He wants to act like he's a hard done by one, that he's helped so many people. When we know the opposite is true. We know that how many people that he's used, abused, and God knows what else, you know, over the years and lost from his community. We're not just talking hundreds of people. We're talking probably thousands at this point. It's insane when you think about the amount of people that he's tossed to the side and spoken about or lied about and turned on in the most vitriol fucking way mm-hmm. is no bueno no bueno oh, like he's practicing his spanish he's I, I culture. It there at night. it's no bueno, <laughs> no no bueno. bueno. I, 
hanging out. That's all he knows. That's all he knows. He knows one phrase. Good job, Pixie. Narcan machine. And like I said, when we were there and they they didn't arrest that person shooting up, that was on house arrest. I said the next thing to happen is somebody's going to get robbed. Is that going to solve the problem if they arrested that one guy? Would that have solved the whole problem? Wow. Oh, look at next. Look at that was so easy. Next. He, he's like Gypsy fucking Rosalie here, predicting the future that someone's going to get robbed. Oh, what what you mean? In modern life, negs in cities and things that people get robbed? Oh, I'm glad we had your foresight. Hey, and listen, I understand. Like, I, I think there's a lot of people lying in their – a lot of people are lying in their pockets with the uh, – with the uh, the virtue signaling, prove like, it. Oh, we're helping people, non for profits. Okay, somebody has to get paid to run it, though, right? So, yeah. Um, have you have you pulled their accounting statements, Nick? That's such public. You could uh, pull their income statements. You could pull all their expenses. You could dive into that. You could take a look. You could answer your fucking questions, but you don't. Because you have no idea how it fucking works. You could get your little smart little journalist girlfriend to do it. Maybe she could look up numbers. She well, had 10 years to get what, a fucking English degree. You guys are fucking all retarded. Look up what fucking virtual signal means first and foremost. Because, like, you know, they are actually fucking doing something. They do take action. And when they do take action or do put things in place, that's not good enough. You've got a complaint about it, right, next. So what? what is it? That they don't do anything, or when they do do something, that's a problem for you also. Either way, it shouldn't be funded, it shouldn't be supported, because what, you think you deserve that money that someone's going to put in your pocket instead? There are people who are just lining their pockets off of these people's sickness and illness. What, what, what you think that qualified people that like they literally go and get qualifications to be like working in these positions and support people like this you know you can't just like come out of fucking high school and go get a job as a fucking drug counselor you know all this shit costs money to go get an education and be qualified in a certain vocation right what you think that they should volunteer their services next because it's such a pious cause or something. You think that they don't have families to feed and houses to fucking pay for? What the fuck? It's only Negs that needs all the money in the world, right? Mm -hmm. How dare anybody else get any money? And, like, you don't think it's tolling on them, Negs? They lost someone. Like, that's hard to do. And to get up and go the next day to their job and help someone else. And yeah, there's a reason that. why you get a, a, a good, a decent wage for a lot of these jobs that you need qualifications for in that sense. Because, yeah, it comes with its own fucking, you know, mess as well, you know? Mm -hmm. At least 99.9% .9 of the people I talk to are fucking sick of it. I'm leaving. Because this, 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 the city cannot cater to what I'm I leaving. Do. Well, any I'm leaving, little bits. I'm leaving. <laughs> oh no, whatever will they do now? What will they do without the attic? Connorsville, the ville is dead. It's not going to survive. They will rue the over. day. The ville will rue the day when I leave because I will be a success and they'll be like, do you remember when he lived here? <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> and this house want to do with our lives? It can't cater to any of it. It's a complete fucking dead end. It's not even a. It so reminds me. Sorry to make you pause again. Nice houses. No, this it is so reminds me. You know, like when a little toddler gets into a tantrum and they like pretend to pack a bag or something. They're gonna leave home. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> so the dead fucking inch street. The city hasn't maintained anything in years. It's all like brush and overgrowth and copperheads crawling through everything. Now there's snakes. Oh my. <laughs> Junkies, politicians, snakes. Oh my. Mm. Yeah. The biggest snake being his viper girlfriend.
One hair. <laughs> I'm saying. I better not. Oh, here we go. Back, back to oh. this. One hair. Here we go. Thank Next you. talks in his code now. His code of like to Zeph. One hair. Didn't he one lose a kid in terms of like it's no longer with us and to lose a kid uh as in he couldn't find him for a year right like uh, uh, yeah well and what you mean also the one that he chirped all legal responsibilities for and allowed another mm -hmm. father to raise and now he's got some mm -hmm. sort of qualms now that his other son is now looking to this other man for as some um, sort of male role model because his father's a failure yeah that yeah yeah I love how much internal reflection is going on surrounding the situation, Nix. There's literally none. Oh, or anything that some shit happened. But anyway, moving on. Yeah, pockets are getting lined, and I, I wouldn't even want to open a nonprofit because I, I like to make profit. But I, I couldn't, it would have to be something. Like oh, but everybody else. <laughs> Everybody else should not fucking earn one penny or have a career or a job or a salary, <laughs> especially if it's more than you. You you like profit, right, Negs? You you like money. Wait, are they lining their pockets? Or are they working for a stupid nonprofit? Not making they're lining money? their pockets. You gotta tell me, like buddy. Have a profit because he's got you know <laughs> one son to feed, and uh, don't dare keep him from feeding that son. He did, you know, and I just can't deal with drug addicts. I can't. The narcissism that it takes. To then why did you fuck what? Four of them? <laughs> what? To be a drug addict it is just beyond me. And um, I've seen it in in real time. The the the, the, the entitlement. The gimme gimme gimme. Oh I'm uh, uh, oh I'm I'm addict. Gimme stuff. Fuck what? Uh. He is so like self aware, but not <laughs> like this is exactly what you do, Nixie. Yeah, you just did it. It was that when he was hanging around in all the trap houses with like miners and things, and you know, everyone taking drugs and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Z was probably talking about that situation because Negs has admitted that he was 22 or 23 with a 16 year old fucking girlfriend. And then he wanted to come online and talk about Cyrax and some other shit of all that kind of stuff. Like, when you were the same fucking thing, Nexie. Yeah, I've got you the photo. You were that shithole adult. I've got the photo of that, by the way. Bring on children. I'm not, not going to show it because the girl is young in it. But, yeah, I've got the photo of uh, Zeph with that girlfriend and yep. Nex. Yep. Yep. And Nex admitted the ages. Nex admitted the ages and when Z did one of his lives I asked him and he also confirmed so I personally don't need any more confirmation than that to you know dude I'm broke give me shit what like that never worked for me I'm broke give me shit now nah, you make too much money oh I, I you do that all the time Nix that ten thousand dollars that you think was yours was not yours honey how much money do I make? Oh, you make $10. Yep. Too. Puck. Puck is around from that time, too, I think. Remember, he was friends. Puck was friends with Negs's girlfriend. Puck was 17. The girl was 16. Negs was 20 fucking something. Yeah, Negs spoke about that. Yeah. Like, even on Twitch yep. streams, he spoke about yep. Puck being that age when he came around. Yep. Negs was cool. They all hung out at his apartment. Because they were all in fucking high school. And they knew this trash bag man that wanted to fuck their friend and give them weed. And so Negs then, ha, ah, had friends. Isn't That's not totally not predatory and manipulative at all, Negs. And by the sad. way, it turns out that Negs wasn't as young as he makes out. And he already had two of yep. his children. And this was after the, the breakup um, with his... Um, the first baby mama like with the two eldest children right and he went on to like return to his ways and thinking that he was the eternal teenager like he has forevermore um and thinking like partying and all this rather than being a responsible father now that he's broken up with her um took priority so he was already 
Um, and it works out that I, he's quite a few years older than Zeph. He's not just a, like a couple years older. I think he was more decade, like, isn't it? I well, yeah. I think he was more like twenty six, twenty seven when this, when he was hanging out with Puck when Puck was like seventeen. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, okay. Let me just kick some of that out. What the fuck? System is designed to keep you down. If you want to get the benefits, you gotta like stay right here, like anybody what? else. If you want to get the benefits, you have to stay. No, Negs, the goal is to get off the. Oh, God damn it. Social Security, you got to stay right here. Or then you get. So your goal was to stay on it the whole time? Mr. Crying about people getting handouts from the government? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. You literally, you literally will. You. Purposely limited your monetary potential, Negs, so you could stay the sad, pathetic man. Grifting well, he off didn't the necessarily limit it. He diversified it and uh, didn't necessarily declare all of it. Your shit taken. The next thing you know, you owe them money. Then to get dragged, you know. I could sit here and make some shit up and it stick, but I think it's time that, uh, I'm, I'm so gonna if you just notice there, that's next completely telling on himself and who the fuck he is. So, you know, when next comes out here spouting all this, I've never told a lie. I'm honest. <laughs> I'm this, I'm that next has told you who the fuck he is right there by saying, that he could make up all this shit and he can make it stick, which tells you what Nix has done to people time and time again. Mm-hmm. Do this podcast with me. Just about about this guy that I've talked about. I'm not mentioning his name. Fuck him. A Maybe podcast? Conversation. Stop teasing. He's not going to do any of it. Like ASAP... Seriously, Podcast. I mean, I'll, even, I'll, I'll, I'll leave my firearm at home. You can fucking bring one. I don't give a shit. I just want to talk. I want to talk to you face to face. Please to, film I want it. To know how? What are you talking about? Everybody next? an opportunity. Why are you? Why did you even bring guns into the equation? Like that was a thing. Like you're talking about having a conversation first of all, you know. And you said already about like it's not about having a fight like fisty cuffs, right? So the fact that you feel the need to declare about bringing a firearm or not, that's kind of weird. And creating a shop and giving everybody a job and an opportunity is fucking people over. How giving everybody an opportunity to it, you did it? Oh my god, we were paying your kid what ten dollars an hour. That's not a fucking yeah, job. Yeah, I, I remember that, Kala. Yeah, I, I did refer to that, that there was another baby mama that, like, before that mm -hmm. situation, you know, when Nick talks about fucking going off and doing all these things and that he could have made it, you know, elsewhere. He was going to go to the West Coast, right, and do all these things. Well, no, he was busy, like, knocking up women left, right, and centre. And... He, he's cried about, like, oh, this woman went and had this abortion like she was some baby killer because you know, she's the only one that fucking had good sense to not want to fucking breed with this yeah. fucking lump of mutant meat. You being a fucking great, amazing band is fucking people over. I want to know. I want to know that. I want to know how... <laughs> how is having and starting a great music band fucking anyone over? <laughs> uh, you fucked all of our ear holes like really bad how being benevolent and giving but, uh, with, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> his voice cracked because you're lying I hear that again that was not no no fucking people over how giving everybody an opportunity to be in a fucking great amazing band is fucking people over I want to know I want to know that I want to know how, how being so benevolent. Being benevolent. 
so fucking benevolent. What you think being benevolent is like paying your kid twenty dollars a day, right? Um, paying Zeph in fucking weed and Clara's dry old fucking pork loaf. You think that's you being <laughs> benevolent to people, huh? How could they like exist without you, Negs, and funding their fucking lifestyle? I don't know. <laughs> and giving what. <laughs> Oh, hey, can I get a joint? Can I get a joint? Fucking bum. 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 The same guy who would who would see... Hey, 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 Negs, you gave it to him. Bitch boy. No, 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 no. I'm just going to pause it right there and say one fucking thing. I remember Negs saying that he said to Zeph, right, and this was part of come work with me, come hang out at the band, blah, mm. blah. All the weed you can smoke, he said uh -huh. to him. Okay, now this is how Negs now uses it against you. So he gives with one hand and fucking slaps you with the other fucking one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did just talk all the time of like, yo, he smoked on the band. <laughs> like, so now he when, he's, so now cool. when he's asking for a fucking joint, when he's there like jamming with you and whatnot, you want to jam three times a week because I want to make this a thing, guys, right? And he's like, oh, you know, and you're fucking smoking night and fucking day around the clock, got all the fucking <laughs> weed and whatnot. And you said to him, you can have all the weed, bro. Mm -hmm. And when he asks you for a joint, now it's a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Some gnarly dude throw his cigarette in the ashtray and would take it out and just smoke it, not knowing what the dude had on his lips or nothing. Same nasty motherfucker. <laughs> Kella. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, Dollar General employees can't buy the one penny items. They're really nice. You're supposed to sell them, so I, I guess I guess that fell apart. That explains the job. <laughs> didn't have a job when you was with me, right? Because uh, I kept money in your pocket. I always found a way. You, you Why? always found a way to keep money in his pocket, weed in his <laughs> mouth, pork loaf in his belly, right? Oh, you're so benevolent, Negs. And now he's got to what? No, like he got a fucking job. And? I don't... It turns out that he's got more time to dispose of, I guess, now. Now that he's not yeah. fucking around with you so much, you know. Mm. And he points out, like, yeah, like the place of work here and whatnot as well. To make sure, I'd like, to clarify that, like, Zeph and Casey works at this place. It's like, what? why you do that, Niggs? Because he's an asshole. Homies, you know? No, yeah, but that's, exactly. you know that, I know that. I'm not, like, it's a fucking weak attempt at intimidation, isn't it, now? Yeah. I do what I got to do to uh, make sure they are, they're all right and to, like, be complete. This, this is a fucked up situation, bro. And uh, I want you to really think about what the hell you're doing. Why do you go out of your way to be so nice to people like this, Negs? If they're so bad. Um, taking advantage of people who may have like just autism. That's fucked up. It's really fucked up to do. It what? pisses me the fuck off. <laughs> Christy, were your guilty pleasure? I guess we can be everyone's guilty pleasure. <laughs> yes. I find it honorable to be anyone's trash television. Thank you. <laughs> This this <laughs> fucked hard on screen is Little Boots' guilty pleasure. <laughs> yeah, you know, you gotta be honest about it, okay? All right, you know, you know, my life changed for the better when I became honest with my <laughs> my obsessions. You guys, okay? The world's a better place then. Just just be weird. It's all right. Yeah, Lynn. Hey, darling. Everyone needs fans. <laughs> Come on. Next is deserving of at least one fan. Here I am. Don't tell what you did. Tell what you did. Someone's got to get a live live feedback before we hit go live. I mean, so, we were talking about his new uh, Rumble account and like. <laughs> 
house. He was so. like bragging. He was bragging two weeks, like a week ago or something. Like, oh, I've got 120 subscribers, and it's barely shifted since. And Little Boots was like, uh, I might be guilty. I've, got, I've, I'm kind of following him on three accounts. She was like, All right, let me, um, <laughs> let me unfollow on two of them. <laughs> you know, gotta keep them under a hundred. Help me, you guys. Help me on my mission. <laughs> Listen, I have a problem, okay? Thank you all for coming to my problem talk. <laughs> the funny thing is, as well, he's getting ratioed really badly since Rusticles was up on his last panel and pointed it out and was like, oh, you're getting ratioed next, uh, like this. And then since then, it's gone even worse. Like, if you go look at a lot of his last streams, they're like, it's really bad now. It's quite funny. Oh, yeah. You guys, if you watch, you should interact. Give him your opinion. You know, it's only fair. Actually, yeah, and Jenna being yeah. the side chat going, it's all interaction, Nicks. <laughs> yeah, I may harder. not give as deep advice as Bethemus, but I think I'm a pretty good fan. <laughs> but guess what? You're all Slim. <laughs> I told Dad that too. I was like, Lynn probably has like 12. Well, it's probably a good thing you don't listen to us in public. I probably swear far too much for you to ever listen to me in public. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can't, especially if you're watching Negs, he'll just randomly talk about poop or something stupid. No, I meant me. I meant my potty mouth. <laughs> if, if, if I move somewhere else, the same thing will be happening. Nothing will change. I will be in a better, in a better place. That. You know? Nothing will change. There, there will still be people who will be mad at me. All that will remain the same. Right? Yes, next. Change. It will all stay the same because you are the problem. No matter where you go. I'm glad you had that moment of enlightenment. Uh -huh. Only my surroundings will change. Yeah. Change. So nothing will change because you will still behave the same way. You'll just piss off different people. That's all. Yeah, a fresh, a fresh canvas for you to fuck up. Mm -hmm. and I personally don't give a fuck if anybody finds and doxes us because, again, Florida is like Indiana when it comes to guns, and they have medical marijuana. So finally, <laughs> I can get. And they have a lot of junkies. No one hence, tell them that. Yeah, hence Nick Especially... is already prepared with his medical marijuana card. In the Listen, um, he's like he can't wait. He's crawling his way to Florida now. Nixie has admitted his income, and it's like thirty k. Like he's not going to have a good time in Florida. No, and this is what I said. <laughs> and he's going to go through. He, I don't think he realizes. Like in medical marijuana terms, you don't get that much to fucking like kick your heels up about DC's term, right? Uh, no. Like, he's going to go through that, like, definitely within, like, a couple of days. And he's going to have to buy more. Yeah. He's going to spend a lot of money. I mean, you can get a decent amount. Um, I don't know how Florida compares to where I'm at, but I don't know. You can buy a lot once. <laughs> the treatment that I you can get a lot of shitty weed so, in Florida. The is. treatment that you deserve. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you're just gonna self medicate? That'll that'll fix it. That'll fix you. Yeah, that'll be it great. It has great so idea. far. <laughs> great idea. Fuck, come visit. We'll, we'll we'll strip down to our uh, we'll strip down to our fucking uh, skibbies oh. and, uh, skibbies and wrestle with body oil all over us. It's not gay. <gasps> Did he just offer that to Bethemis or Jana or who else? Should we do a poll? <laughs> Who's well, he offering no, that he was to? saying it to a bloke. He said, come visit and <laughs> strip down into our skivvies and we'll wrestle. That's not gay. <laughs> That's what I clipped as well. That's what I played. <laughs> Hold on. I do want to say that something about this real quick. Uh, no. Is she streaming? We're not at odds with pistachio. And contrary to uh, some idiot beliefs, um, Belinda, me, and P 
uh, fed into that little shit to get Sam riled up. And anyone that baited on it, uh, y'all are dumb. <laughs> no, we're not at odds with P. I didn't know he was meant to be at odds with P. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, rile him up. Listen, it ain't hard, Kate. It ain't hard to get those foodie fans all riled up in their little, like their little granny panties sitting at their computers, like, oh my god, oh my god, what is that? Is that you again? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here still. Don't worry, Melinda. Idiots. It's funny to watch, though. So predictable. I'm just astonished that. That's my two cents on our fake fight. That wasn't really. Then I then I couldn't be around. I kept trying to go into Belinda's uh, streams because she was gonna strip my wrench from me, and I was gonna have a big sad about it. Um, but I never wasn't able to make any streams, so we weren't able to execute on our. Plan. Yeah, I've I've not Failed been off. around much Failed to even off. know. So like I was uh, <laughs> totally out the loop on this because I've what we've been ill for a week as well. Like I yeah, I wasn't really part of it. Yeah. I think we both are. I actually have peanut allergy too, Christina, but I can eat pistachios. <laughs> True facts. I'm, I'm the patriarch of this family, okay? Of I what have... family, bitch? You have fucking grandchildren, you asswipe. And I have done nothing but give. You have done nothing for any of them ever. You brat, you gave your kid $150 for a refrigerator. You couldn't even pay for the fucking refrigerator, you piece of shit. He referred to himself, <sighs> Clara, and his one and only son, as he's been his forever family. Oh, God. Think about that. Imagine being one of his other kids, though, and hearing that shit. Like, that would sting, no? Fly traps are forever. Watch what, Mrs. Coleman's pension. Our fake fight, it was mostly just like Twitter shade. <laughs> and then I had to delete a bunch of uh, tweets that I had tweeted at Belinda that day. Because I was like, oh shit, I can't let them see this. <laughs> Luckily, it was just random fish shit, so no one cared. But yeah. <laughs> I am. And I have done nothing but give all the young men around me being my children or my uh, little cousins or nephews, whatever. It was a, uh, sorry to keep derailing. It, uh, it was about, it was, um, I'm responding to Mrs. Coleman's pension. <laughs> it was, uh, Sam was all crying about it because I was over with Gigi and, um, P when well, they were streaming when Belinda was doing a stream at the same time. And they were like, why is little boots over there? Like, Oh my gosh. And they were uh, supposedly texting each other about it. And so we were like, we need to lean into this. <laughs> yeah. But weirdly that like that's occurred before. I called Belinda boring. And then they, but that, that's occurred before there's been times where uh, even Belinda or Fedora have streamed at the same time or whatnot. And like, Sometimes, like you, you, you've had like less time, what with work and things, and uh, to always be in every stream and whatnot. Steph took some time off. I was ill, but usually, like even if people do overlap, like we kind of do it in like uh, shifts almost. Like so, there's been times where Fedora's been streaming literally almost the same time as Belinda. And I'll be in like the first half of like Belinda's stream and the second half of Fedora's. And then Steph will switch over to Belinda's and Fedora's and we do it like that, you know. So you feel like you've mm -hmm. gone half there and half here. So it's not a big deal. And then you just go back and watch the replay of whatever you missed anyway. So people don't get that bent out of shape over it over here. Yeah. It's not it's not a thing to get your panties in a twist about. Yeah, that's one thing I can't stand. Like, okay. Me and you have talked about that. Like, we don't give a fuck how many times me and you put our stream on the back burner because we want to be at whoever's stream instead, right? Like, yeah. that's our choosing. Like, me and you prefer, because we're like, oh, fuck, we don't want to miss the fun. So we don't mind putting our stuff, like, if we want to do that. But there's been times where we go, no, fuck it, we'll go live, whatever. Whoever turns up, turns up, right? It but if matter. you want to stream, you stream. Like that's part of it too. Like yeah, you know, people get all uptight about that. It also depends if you Here. can 
displace your stream because sometimes like with us like it's a schedule or a timing thing so we can't always put it back or whatever but if we can we do it doesn't matter we're all just here having fun christy girl mm -hmm. everyone except negs how sad yeah. giving good advice or helped out but i have never fucked anyone when have you given any of your kids good advice and when have you helped any of them out advice facts you about it was all premeditated and you know it too yeah i just find it funny that two old ladies were texting each other about where i was <laughs> like that's weird <laughs> and slightly flattering yeah or fucked anyone over I haven't fucked anyone over. Anyone. Yeah, all yeah, right. Next. Okay. You offered the job back. I, I, I know many so, people Nick, that would counter that. I know many people, fallen individuals from your community, no less, that would argue different to that. So you married all your baby mamas. Everyone lived happily ever after. The children were comfortably supported their whole lives. Sure. Nix has never fucked over anyone. Mm hmm Sure. Never, ever. But he's going to focus on some stupid band bullshit, because that's what adults focus on, isn't it, Nix? What an adult businessmen focus on. I've done nothing. And the gaslighting of someone who is uh, working on their mental health is disgusting. And it is the behavior I would expect from somebody who spends their day just trying to find a way to get that nickel. You hear what I say? I'm just saying. Anyway, go fuck yourself. Boring. Uh, 34 minutes, there was something that he said around that. Look at that number. Ooh, ah. Like, wah ha 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 uh, from a person who I don't tried like really hard to get what you got and took advantage of and fucked up. It's a piece of like internet history. And now I have your possess your your prize possession. Behold. <laughs> Be right there. Wait. What's his prize possession? The Christmas tree? Your shitty decorations? What do you what? Yeah, yeah. He loves the dusty bush. Alright guys, please hit the like button. <laughs> <laughs> uh if we don't get 100 likes in the first hour, I'm probably going to shut the stream down. Oh, wow. Well, oh, no. Don't do that. Because the, the stream yeah. obviously didn't go out to people, so like, there's no reason to stream. YouTube is not being stupid today. Shud Logic has 1,200 viewers watching him watch YouTube videos. Yep. No, I said you can't see how many people dislike. I've only got They've 67 kind of watch it, watching me watch you Quit cry. being freaking a stickler, man. <laughs> yeah, this is all Clara's suggestion, <laughs> Kate. Clara said to him, oh, watch this and do, review this and review that. And Nix can't review any of these fuckers. He doesn't know what the fuck's going on anyway. Most of the time, <laughs> as you know. So let alone when he tries and tackles something else. I see how many people dislike. I've only got They've 67 kind of watch it, watching me watch you Quit cry. Quit being a stickler, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to get more people in here. The more people that engage, more people that chat, the more likely YouTube is going to put stuff out there in the sub box. Stop being an asshole. All right, go ahead and ban call me dude, bro, please. Uh, true, text him. Like I would, but like people are not actually helping me. I'll get the stream. Wow. Because, like the stream, they go out to people, so I ask for hundred likes. And if people don't want to hit the like button, they help me help uh, the stream out. I'm not gonna stream. Hit the like that's, just, that's just the thing, right? That's the point, Goofy. I'm trying to condition people to like the video more. Hit the like my, button. My, my, my actual wow. viewers never. All right. Oh, wait, no, wait. Oh, you didn't. Sorry. There was a specific thing where he started ranting again. He goes back to. It was like around 34 minutes a bit. That's just, that's just the thing, right? That's the point, Goofy. I'm trying to condition people to like the video more. Because my, 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 my actual viewers never like. Since they don't like it, then get put out. I feel like this is a really boomer understanding of the algorithm that Wings always tries to push. <laughs> Engagement is good for your channel. But I don't think 100 likes on a stream of a guy that has 400,000 subscribers and is getting 100 viewers is going to equate to, ah, you know what? YouTube's really changing their mind here. They're thinking, ah, oh, actually, this channel's lit. Everybody loves this channel. Let's send it out to a ton of people. Now, when you upload a video, and it happens with evergreen content, I guess you want to say, basically, YouTube will do these trials, where, like, when you first upload a video, they'll send it out to the regular people, and then a little bit later, maybe 12 hours, maybe a day, 
they'll send it out to a different chunk of people to see okay. if they're interested. And if they are interested, it continues down the line until people stop tuning into it, right? So you're able what to- What is the like, point of Negs watching this shit? He doesn't even say anything about right? the content. I don't know. I know, he's about to he'll, he's about to kick off though. He's about to start moaning again, then we can skip to the end. Like, it's kind of funny because like the guy's talking about YouTube algorithm and Nick's couldn't care less because he can't get monetized on YouTube again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I stream once every blue moon, and I don't give a flying mm. fuck if people are showing up or not. I enjoy it when people are there, but I'm not sitting there like, all right, guys, um, let's see. Uh, I typically get the thousands of views on a video, and there's only, like, 200 people here. What the fuck? Like, I'm going to end my stream right now. Like, real talk. It's like, hey, hey, I want to give I want to give some kudos to the ratio crew. You got 13 today. 13. Mm. Let's shoot for 20. Mm -hmm. All right, let's shoot for 20. How many? Nope. Over I'm just like it. <laughs> Hold on. At this point, it's like, I don't I, I I'll really help. It from wings. It's what's the difference between 100 viewers and 200 viewers do you actually think that 200 viewers are going to turn into a thousand viewers down the road i mean give maybe, me a fucking break dude. maybe i don't know <clears throat> but like it's one of those things where it's like i don't want to like get complacent i'm just i just wish i could see growth on streaming <laughs> no, that's the only see growth. like their channel is way smaller than mine <laughs> i just pulled up this video on his rumble it has 30 dislikes and now mm -hmm. 31 this is what i, I said you all to know this mentioned it on that last panel like it's been getting yeah. worse and worse i've noticed each day that he streams the ratio is getting fucking outrageous now please please uh do me a favor and click that link and click dislike thank you okay bye. <laughs> let's see how many we can get <laughs> a thousand viewers any engagements good engagement kate i'm just helping i should be yeah. pulling a thousand viewers how many how many years i've been doing he told me thanks yeah, even Jana okay. said that. Jana said in the side chat, like as a cope for Negs. She was like, it's all engagement, Negs. <laughs> I'm hoping. I was not I'm impressed, I'm telling you. Big fan, long time. Doing this. No, I'm not. <laughs> Note to everybody out there, he's mm. not saying I should be pulling a thousand viewers because he's entitled to it. He's saying he should pull a thousand viewers because he's been doing it for so long. Let's go. Audience in the past, and it's kind <laughs> yeah. of embarrassing that he doesn't yeah. pull it, right? Yeah. Now, some of you might think he's not that self aware. I'll give Jordy the benefit of the doubt here, all right? I'll give him wow. the benefit of the doubt. Now, it just, it, it just is at, like at this point where certain people are targeting certain things that yeah. people will be interested in. Yeah. So, me yeah. talking about Cyrax. Yeah, on a live stream. Yes, Even sir. though I don't live stream very often, yeah. we'll pull more viewers than a Jordy stream because honestly, honestly, real talk, real talk. I just don't get the fascination with sitting there and listening to a live streamer. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will put streams up on my other screen when I'm working on stuff, but it's muted. It's just to have a fucking moving picture on the side. I could put a fucking TV show silent on the side, and it'd be the exact same thing, right? Is it thirty-three? Um, nice. <laughs> Gaming. Let's go. If, if you're not the greatest player and you don't have the greatest personality in the world, why would I tune in? See, I mean, like, <clears throat> that's what I never understood. Was that I, I. Why are you all here? I, I had the personality, <laughs> quick witted, funny. Da -da. <laughs> Wait, what? No. no. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I had the personality, oh, quick, <laughs> funny. You sure about all these things, Nick? Personality, quick wit, Negs. You default to poop jokes. Quick wit, my ass. Oh, I default. Fuck me. <laughs> was that I? I had the personality, quick witted, funny. <laughs> da, da 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 da. I connect all the dots to be successful on da, the da, 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 for some reason. These guys get it. They thought <laughs> you connect all the dots. <laughs> he cannot connect all the boxes. Isn't that what he said? Nick, the only thing you can fucking connect is the bald patches. <laughs> no, I can't. I don't connect anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it all away, and then they feel entitled to it. I'm like, dude, like, get your fat ass out of the fucking way and let somebody else have a chance, right? Like, I, I want gaming. Why do you think I that think somebody games. else's particular downfall means that there's room for you now? That's not how it works, Negs. It's not because all oh, like oh we we haven't got room for Negs at the moment. No, people don't like you. <laughs> no, he totally can take this guy's spot. He can totally get his audience. <laughs> he gets 
I've seen people with 25,000 viewers watching them games. So I know that's really profitable, but they're probably really good, like pro or some shit. I don't know. But uh, I gave it yeah, a shot. Pro. And it just didn't. I mean, like, I gave it a real honest shot, like three months every day. I did a stream, same time. Didn't work out. But you didn't even show you playing all the time. Like the screen. Well, quit looking at the camera, What's man. I shake point? my legs. It's something I always do, and it's something I can't stop. Nothing uh, will ever work out what, long what, term because next can't shame? fucking abstain from bitching on the internet. That's the problem. Uh huh. All he did was cry about stuff. We can skip further towards the end now. I don't think he says much more, really. He goes back to this shit and then, like. Be the stream to the members and then an edited bull by this time next year. You are the locale, but until next time, I'll come yeah. to later. Peace. Yeah, that was better than your last video. I'll, I'll give you that. Last one, I was roasting the shit out of you. I'm sorry. Kind of. Not really. You're the one watching the video. We've not much to add. You're watching somebody else's like commentary that they've covered, like and done research on and whatnot, and you want to fucking coattail it off of that and uh, criticize those that, you know, the, the things that you can't do. Yeah. You say the bodega needs to get a new hobby. This is their hobby. This is your hobby. Is what you do when you're unemployed or sicky. Uh. Sicky. I don't know. It could be anyone. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't give two shits and a fuck who hates me because uh, I haven't heard a reason that is viable. Oh, well, he doesn't care. Just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, that's the moment that, that you know, but Kate. You know, like that. when I was talking to you about like the whole fucking narcissistic premise of like having his persona is like the Moloch kind of thing. But when that whole fucking guy slips here and there and you see like a little glimpse of like self esteem issues and self doubt and depression hitting, that yeah, a that's real bitch reality, boy inside. Yeah, that's when rea reality invades. And then otherwise he goes back to this sort of like fucking delusional fantasist realm, whatever you want to fucking call it. Sometimes with my mental illness, I would just get mad at people. This is something I, I broke that cycle with myself. I would get mad at people. And Did you? I would just vilify them and demonize them to the point where like, I just didn't speak to them or, you know, shit like that. I get it. I get it. And that's what I feel like this is. <laughs> It says glimpse of that little boy wearing the pizza pan. Stop it. <laughs> oh. See, Kate, I was like, he should rock that pizza pan like he's Flavor Flav with the Compton hat. You know, just go full scout. <laughs> you fucked me over. No, I sure the fuck didn't. I got the receipts to prove it. No, you don't. That's part of your problem. <laughs> uh huh. So. Uh, it's depressing as fuck. Um, it's got no one to run around that. and fetch those receipts uh, now either. That's part of the problem. Wah, wah, wah. The world is, is becoming sadder by, by, by the day. Is it? It's just, I don't understand what people are doing. I don't understand. Um, Niggas, you don't even understand yourself. What are you talking about, man? I mean, <laughs> fuck me. All you fucking do is come over here and bitch and moan. You're adding to the fucking negativity in the world. I don't understand what the uh, end game is. Like, is it like, because I'm trying to figure out like how I fuck people are. There was a band that was rocking. I, I gave my platform to the band. Rebranded it to Death Monarch. <laughs> we streamed. No, no, no. No, for no, you. no. You did not bestow your platform the, like, onto the band. That's what you offer up next to every fucking person in all these positions. Because you're not fucking talented. And we all know that you're not, right? So the thing is, is that you go to, it's all right, guys. I've got a platform. We can share all the shit out on my thing. And that's how you try to sell yourself to Tyrant's downfall. 
let's remember that's also what you try to tell them that you had this big platform and you could make them and help them and that's what you brought to the table right so it's not like oh like you dedicated yourself or gave something to the band you wanted to do that you did that nobody asked you to do that yeah and sir what platform didn't his his rumble channel didn't break 1k did it no i think he renamed one of those tiktok accounts to the deaf monarch you know um that he already had a bunch of followers still, on. still that's like not a crazy amount though like, but that's that's what he's like offering up to them like uh, oh you, you guys do this i bring this to the table that's what he right so you can't use that as your like l leverage on the situation when you've offered that up as in that's what you bring to the table we had a good time we wrote music we had a good time i bought a dime bag uh there a dime bag there whatever the fuck his name is dime bag Daryl, uh, cry, uh, cry, ironically, cry baby wah wah pedal. It took a nine volt battery. Yeah. I suggested somebody buy one, and here we are today. It is, it is. Yeah, that's all it was. Wasn't it nice? Just, just a battery. And still, it still makes no sense because even if it, like, Zeph was going to test out your fucking pedal for you, right? Why would he want to go and buy a battery just to go like fucking test out your piece of equipment one time? And that battery doesn't serve any purpose to him to go in any other piece of equipment. Why would anyone do that? Why has he got to do that for you? Yeah. Like, it's just, it's all so stupid. <laughs> like, why couldn't you go get it yourself? <laughs> he had to bring it to you because he, what, owed you? This act of service? Like... He was asking for too much free weed, I guess. <laughs> Weird. And, and and very... It's very rooted in mental illness. <laughs> uh, we know! Yours! Because, uh... Um, I was going to strap a rocket. I still am going to strap a rocket to this stuff, just not here, and uh, <laughs> go forward with, with what I wanted to do. I had a vision. What? What's the vision? <gasps> he has a vision I had a dream for everybody. I don't know. Everybody was going to make money. Ne money. Neg strapping uh, on a rocket or whatever it is that he's trying to fucking say is uh, some sort of image right there. Negs, I don't think you're actually thinking of ideas that generate money. I think that is the problem. Down the road, but um, we're not there now. Um, no, you can't make money selling Timu trinkets. I'm sorry, it's not sustainable business practice in a town of 13k. It's not and, and anywhere really. He doesn't do his marketing and research properly nope. anyway to see mm -hmm. what's like mm -hmm. needed in a certain area for a certain, you know, uh clientele or whatever. But not only that, it's like you say, it, it, he doesn't give a fuck in any sense. It's about what he wants to do, right? Mm -hmm. It, because he's got all these grandiose plans and but what he thinks is cool and what he thinks is hip and I would like a place like that. I would like these things because he's like a little boy showing off his bedroom to his mum's friend or saying, like, come look at my room, come look at all my toys. <laughs> this is why when he does those Facebook posts about the fucking shop, it's the same fucking thing day in, day out. Who are those fucking videos for, by the way, for his mum to like? Because he's got fuck all like other people looking at that shit is like oh mommy look look what i got today i got these badges and i got these things and the shiny things and it's like oh well done heart heart the facebook post mommy Jeez. i mean if we keep a location open here i'd be more than happy to do a uh a project via satellite like you know like just like you know Write a script, have people do shorts and stuff. Hire an editor here, you know. Hire an Ooh. editor. Oh I'm working my on the shit where I'm at. <laughs> you like the hats? That's looking nice, huh? <laughs> Things are gonna change a little bit. I'm talking like your stuff. It's a little bit more serious. Um, because um, life changes. Life comes at you quick. Isn't that a credit card company? Life comes at you quick. Ooh, I need to sit down. A credit card company? I don't know. 
Sounds like a fucking tagline for Grinder. There's so many dolls. Look at all of them. Hold on. Hold on. He got out of frame. Fuck, I went back too far. Oh, ne Kate, what are you wishing upon the masses? You want next what? to socialize with people? Like, don't think about Negs now. Think about the people that would have to socialize with him. I would pay money for, like, CCTV footage of Negs, like, shuffling around in the wild. Because, you know, he doesn't take full steps either. He's one of those, like, kids who never learned to pick up his feet. Like, he just shuffles around with his little, like, hands together with his little, like, hunchback, like, in a crowd of people. Like, 10 mm -hmm. out of 10 would, would watch. Like, we saw Clara in public. Like, imagine like both of them just like scuttling past people <laughs> like i would See, pay money I think, for this video <laughs> i think how i portrayed him in today's thumbnail is exactly how he's going to move to florida he's going to slug it on his little belly his little hunch like a caterpillar like all the way <laughs> yeah and he's like afraid to like say anything so he's just like this little anxious little like Freaky man running around. You can't talk. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. In a Compton hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But like, come on. That was dressed up, Clara. Now imagine them like not dressed up. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've I've never been like mad at people and not told them why. Oh my god. Asked. She fucking is as well. Yeah, she I, is I like fucking ET shape. She is. <laughs> it's been very uh, straightforward with people, pretty much. People what? may have to come to me and be like, "Hey, what's up?" And I, but I'll tell them eventually, you know, because I understand what it's like to, you know. People have to come to you and go, "Hey, what's up? Why don't you do that, idiot?" To feel feel that you know you, you know something's going on it's like hey what's up you just gotta tell people next so everybody dogs. knows what the fuck is up with you and that's why they give you a wide berth how about that how about they don't feel the need to come up to you and say what's up or whatever because they know what's fucking up already you guys i count nine dolls that i can see right now and i know he's covering up like four more there's so many dolls. Oh, Clara Clara's has a chair. Spending, Clara's spending all the inheritance next on dollies. What are you going to do? How are you going to screw all enough money away and then bolt? <laughs> Goddamn, I, 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 I know that I'm not perfect in any way, shape, or form. Nor mm -hmm. do I hold myself in, 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 in that type of uh, air. I don't have that air about me. But, you know... <sighs> Look, there's know. another one. Yeah. There's another one. Yeah, I, well, I there's thought that Christina, in all honesty, I thought, right, now he's got all these dolls set up in the background of all his streams, right? Now, her streams, when she was streaming, let's say, her desk is in the other direction, and most of the time you can't see half those dolls. There's so many, I bet. Mm. Can you guys see my cursor on the screen? Yeah. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just in this little area, there's like 10 there, 11. There's one right directly behind him, 12. And that's just what we can see. Like, there's got to be so many, like, lined up. Oh, my God, him. little boots. I don't know. I just thought. What? He's giving me Michael McGee vibes. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> you guys, we should make an eye spy game. Okay. Be fun. We need some good stills when he's out of the way, though. Okay, we're at fifty-four ten. I do want to see because he like moved. <laughs> Move! Get out of the frame. Get out of frame. Get out of frame. Boom. That one's got a guitar. There's that one that looks like it's melting. Look, there's another one over there. Yeah, there's all like these little dioramas that fucking cast them yeah. they do see now. Like like Tiffany's ones and Louis Vuitton fucking luggage and shit. 
Like these are grown people that are spending their fucking time on like there's another like little children. Thirteen. It's a bad number. That's how many I find. All right, we were back at fifteen. <laughs> oh yeah, that's not even counting the orange people. How? Fucking dare you, Christina Lava Lamp. You of all people to imply that there is an orange anywhere in that fucking household. <laughs> of course it would be you. Not a single <laughs> one of them has a drop of vitamin C in their body. <laughs> How dare you accuse them. <laughs> Yeah, but didn't she say that was a doll? That was two dolls that made up the orange peel. So there's two more dolls hiding over there. That's 15. I'm going to keep counting. I swear. Oh, I didn't that. even think it was orange peel. I thought it was an orange fucking strap button. I did. <laughs> I did. I did. I, did. I, swear. Yes, I did think that too. I was like, that's an odd shape for a, a solid bright color thing. <laughs> DC. There's be there's more chance of it being a strap on than an orange according to DC little bits. <laughs> Buddy that that you know feeds on this gets a really good laugh out of it. Uh-huh. Boomerang. I don't care. Boomerang. Get your jollies. Eat that bean with that tea. Ew. Whatever. How can three fourths of your kids hate you and one's deceased? I don't understand that. That's <laughs> that, that was a that was a stupid comment. I saw that one. What's that you win? <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You only reference one son now as your family. Next. Yes. Wait. He said oh, earlier, that? all that matters to me is myself. And my son, singular. Is this a doll? I'm counting it. 16. <laughs> my dubs is suffering. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try. I went to my friend. Oh I'm my gonna God. Try. Hey. He sounds so sad. I hope Claire gets a real doll next time and names it wrong. <laughs> It'll, it'll soon be his only real son. <laughs> you know, you know that she would have to puff it out like fucking talcum powder, right? That dehydrated milk. I, I swear to God, if, if Andy starts rubbing me the wrong way, then I'm going to. I'm going to tap. It's asinine. That's right. It's an ass of 10. It's an ass of 12. <laughs> That's actually a as, as a thirteen. Yeah, what was that about? Quick witted again. I went to my friend's house where their parents. He's so around funny. Naked. That's whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait, what, what, what the f You used to only deadlift the bar. What the hell is this? Yeah, this is where he was watching that I dubs. Wow. We can skip all this is pretty much. Just wrap it up at the end. <laughs> the hell? That's that was too so much to for me. Every two and listen, I like me some seconds. He gives no time, no time for for context, nothing. Just, just, just like three words. Pause. Ah, rabble, rabble, I'm fat. Holy fuck! Isn't that Andy Worski person a fucking cow? Like, why are you mm. pretending he's not? <laughs> That's some boring ass shit right there, man. That is some boring ass. Is yeah, it, and this this is quality you content. You're falling asleep. Shit. So I think I'm gonna wrap this up. I guess that's what I had to say. Oh, boo -hoo. Right. Let's move on. So, <laughs> all right. Right. So we can, um, there was some funny comments on, uh, Nix's, uh, some of his rumbles. That got uh, cancelled out or whatnot. I could just show I could show them all, but like I just read them because like it, there's so many of them. 
and they're long-winded as well. But there's some amusing ones. Um, so underneath these various uh, rumble streams, I think this one was under that next one that he had. Um, we don't see anything if you're... <clears throat> no, I said I'm not going to bother sharing them because oh, okay. there's so many of them because it, I'll just be stopping and starting, you know what I mean? So I'm just going gotcha. to read them out. <laughs> so urine, urine need of a red flag says oh p.s that same same story you keep telling about ashley biden saying that about joe biden not fucking true nobody can take a fool seriously who refuses to verify the bullshit they spew under biden is a crackhead is that that is true undisputable you are a drug addict so you can understand addiction what else you got come on I can do this all day. You are the biggest cow on any screen. Your stanker, dirty ass ever appear on. I wouldn't give a fuck if there was an actual bovine on the screen. You are a low cow. <laughs> and then, yeah, then we've got more from this same person. Again, stupid motherfucker. No Trump could not serve two more terms. When will you stop getting your facts and news from extreme right grift platform? Stop it. Before you repeat bullshit, you are too lazy or dumb to Google facts. You could at least ask Clara. She may have suspended her own personal beliefs to get with your broken, impotent ass. But she probably rolls her eyeballs out of her head and is thoroughly embarrassed when you spit right wing tinfoil Hat butter, buttery, I think that's it. Um, 81 million people voted against Trump, not out of spite, but because he's a, and let me click on to the next one. So I think that's part of why Clara doesn't come, like, sometimes she, like, disappears from his streams. I think she doesn't want to have to, like, inform him of things, because, like. Yeah, and she likes to pretend that it's not happening, well. right? It's easier for her to, <laughs> yeah. to ignore it all. Just like when he has one of his episodes, right? Just step over the dead body. Uh -huh. 81 million people voted against Trump, not out of spite, but because he's a, a con man, a grifter, a draft dodger, a serial adulterer, a traitor, an insurrectionist, a convicted sexual assaulter, a tax fraud, a credibly accused P-word, and a liar, Psst, it says in brackets, billionaires don't sign the back of paychecks to networks. They own networks. A ripoff like you. He hires people to do jobs and then doesn't pay them fucking over small businesses. His wife is an illegal alien. His son is an anchor baby. He sold top secrets. He sucked Putin's dick on the world stage and he mismanaged the pandemic. And he <laughs> continued. <laughs> and he was in charge during the lockdown he tried to use the u.s military against the civil civilian protesters illegal as fuck in brackets he had no right uh, he had known right-wing extremists and proud boys help him to try and stop the peaceful transfer of power he uh Fucked over vets. Why don't you ask Clara on a panel live? You won't. Just like being an ignorant buffoon. Just fucking retarded. Name one thing Trump did that made your life better. Don't you get tired of just being dumb and flat out passionate about being wrong all the time? <laughs> uh, he likes it a little bit. And this is what Negs replied to. This is Negs replying on his other Negs account. You know, I said he's got another Rumble account that's got 98 uh -huh. subscribers on it. He replied on that account for some reason. Um, <laughs> and he put, Pipsqueak, pipe down. You ain't no big three. SZA got you wiped down. <laughs> he's so dumb. He's so He's gangster so as fuck. Don't be messing with him. And then uh, Urine, wow. Urine Need of a Red Flag says, you are the exact brain-dead racist, booger-eating, mouth-breathing, fake-ass patriot that Rumble's grifter piece of shit platform counts on. Rumble's, sorry, grifting piece of ass shit platform counts on to spread their anger, hate, racism and flat out fucking lies as gospel. Um, it's actually remarkable how dumb you are. Your mum must have had done copious amounts of drugs when she was pregnant with your recessive gene ass. 
all day long, Mark. <laughs> oh, look, everybody. There's one. Let him pump full of all shit and sick him on the three people who watch him. Those three people will tell everyone they know Brimstone and Fury sells. Buy our... Hold on, next page. This is fucking long. Pages? <laughs> Buy our Patriot yeah. Freedom and Anti-Immigrant America First Golden Bibles to store in your Patriot safe with a freedom flashlight powered by the Mega Mat generator that doubles as a Trump meme coin. Um, Jesus fucking Christ, the stupidity. You and Ms. I found it. I fouled at Brown, you over there, got beat <laughs> by Hussey once and will again. Let that sink in. All that shit she was floating around about AK not knowing when to shut up and get a lawyer. Blah, 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 bitch. You, <laughs> you are the ones already cut to. Hold on. Next page. Cut two checks after the tough, I'll never give that man a dime talk. Ha, ha, ha. Couldn't have happened to a grosser couple. And then we've got Ronnie P, the PAB, that says, that Iran's money we stole, dipshit. Ask Clara. No, uh, Also, no patriot supports the anti-American piece of shit like Trump. Patriots don't like people who fuck over veterans. Fuck off. Oh, and Trump is an actual credibly accused P-word and a convicted sexual assaulter. Facts. Katie Johnson happened. Again, ask Clara. Shut the fuck up. And then that same Ronnie person says, here you go again with your pedestrian takes on the world events. You are astonishingly <laughs> stupid. It is embarrassing as fuck. Half the reason you are so dumb is you actually get your news from shit stains like Rumble. Just look at the ads. Let's dissect what actually happened in reality. Not MAGA land, not Clara's jaded view. Israel bombed Iranian embassy in Damascus, which is essentially bombing Iran, which was Iran supposed, what was Iran supposed to do? Be like a pussy like you and say, okay, you killed seven non-combatants, no problem. No, they absolutely had to re retaliate. The whole world should be grateful that is all... Hold on. Next page. Where am I? Uh, da, da, da. The whole world should be grateful that is all they did. If Benny and, and the madman escalates this, he will be responsible for killing thousands of Jews. Jews, by the way, that are in the streets of Israel opposing um, uh, his genocide and the part of being a well-balanced commentator is now getting all the views on the issues, not just like the Nazi rumble platform. And then the last bit we have is, go ahead, you vote for the rapist, tax fraud, draft dodging, adulterous drug addict, tre treasonous traitor, insurrectionist scum who sold top secrets to our enemies, who pisses on dead veterans' graves. You are gross enough to do just that. Hashtag Team Hussy. Get ready to have your booster write another fat ass check because you can't keep your sixth grave mouth shut. So, yeah, that was quite a lot. <laughs> wow. Damn, and, I uh, thought I was a dedicated fan. One. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's quite a lot, right? Yeah. And one thing I did want to take a look at, see when it was, we was on the topic of uh, Nick's going to Florida and his patterns of behaviour, I got this little clip. It's only about a minute long of Nick's when he was in Florida, when he picked his kiddo up from Florida. And mm. I thought it'd just be interesting to see what his priorities were even way back then and what he was talking about even back then. And tell us you're any different, Nick's. Exactly the same man. I'm here in Dade City, Florida, on my God knows how many day trip. And uh, I haven't done any videos, man. I haven't anything funny to say because there's some serious matters going on. But, uh, you know, all you trolls keep trolling. Everybody just, you know, keep me in your thoughts. And uh, I'll be back and uh, I'll be back making videos and making wonderful music for you guys just as soon as I get back. So you stay up, stay tuned, and stay real. And uh, stay up and stay tuned for the new uh 
comic shop of horror series coming up. Uh, episode one's done. Episode two is shot. Episode three is being filmed, and I had to take a liaison and come down to uh, the Gulf and take care of some business. So y'all stay up and stay real. I'll see you. What's the outside of a comfort inn? That knows. <laughs> But more more to the point, he's exactly the same person who's talking about the same things and music and he's got all these big plans and having a break from the internet and, oh, I've got some real business, to but I'm going to be doing this. He's talking about, like, because he dare not stream for, like, a day or two when he was in Florida picking up his son. And it's like, that's where his priorities and his thoughts were. Wow. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that was next his first experience in Florida, that was. And lastly, what we got to end off on is a palate cleanser. And it's nothing to do with next at all. And it's <laughs> I thought this would just be fun because next so desperately wants to go to Florida. And <laughs> I found this thing of like you know that body cam footage stuff. And there's this woman in Florida and she kicks the fuck off and it's like one of the funniest things that I've seen in a long while. And I thought this might be joyous for us to watch, especially if Neggs happens to bump into people like this. I so hope he does. Let me bring it up. Here we are. There we are. I don't, oh, there it is. There you go. This is a real treat for you all. Enjoy. You're going to enjoy this all immensely, I should hope. <laughs> it's something else. Catch up with one woman who may not exactly be in a sunshine state of mind. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Huh? All right. We, we got a call about your driving that you were having problems staying in the lane so and i thought it was weird that you kind of like put your turn signal on and you took a while to figure out where you're going and then when you made the left you made this really wide turn you okay you sure okay you have your license registration proof of insurance the woman seen here was stopped after multiple callers reported an erratic driver why are you calling me out well i didn't really I was following you because we got a call about your driving and people were saying, I mean, from, from the 100 mile marker, they were calling about a red. Really? Yes. <laughs> and so when you pulled in here, you made no, a very, I'm not going to do that. You're not going to do what? I'm no, do put that. your car in park, put your car in park, no. car in park. Now, Why, ma'am, put your car in park. Why? Step out all the way in park. Step out of the car for me. Because uh. you were about to take off on me and you are now lawfully detained. So please step out of the vehicle. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I just Ma'am, please step out. No. No? <laughs> so okay. either, listen, step out of the car. I'm giving you a lawful order <laughs> to step out of okay. the car. And I want to Wait for it, Kate. You, we're I recording too. This is what we're not. You're going to enjoy this. Everything. Okay. That's fine, but you need to step out of the car. Well, step out, you please. Just let me record everything. No, first you step out of the no, car, then I'll you record record anything, <laughs> ma'am. Here. No. Well, you're really? either really. Yes. Really? Yes. So we've given you several lawful <laughs> orders for you to right? step out of the car. Yeah. You're refusing those orders, Lord, and I'm telling you to get out of the car right now. She's telling me to get in a car right now. Yes. Like, for yes. what? <laughs> because I'm conducting a DUI investigation. That's DUI? why. DUI? Yes. Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> We're not. Deputies identify the woman as 60 year old Deborah Odom who decides now is a good time to share a message to her followers. So here we are. I have breast cancer. I just had my. I just had my third treatment of breast cancer. And these people have 
Is Stop she me. live streaming? Yeah. Talking to her okay. followers. So, you think that's cool? She's got fresh cats oh, well, uh, and had Based on the fact her. that several people called in that they were concerned about your driving and how you almost hit them. I, I understand. Okay. So my next question to you is, based on the fact that given that I could smell alcohol in your breath, okay, you're swaying while you stand. I'm going to ask if you want to consent to some field sobriety exercises. Of course I would. But, okay. But, uh... I just lost. <laughs> just lost what? It just is something with my followers. Deputies with the Monroe County Sheriff's what? Office try to get Deborah to do some field sobriety tests, but she has a better idea in mind. Why don't we just call Rick and let just let's just talk to him and let's just. Please, please. Oh, I don't. I don't understand how What's this the, uh, sheriff is a body. Because I've known him for <laughs> ten know. years, and like, okay. and like, he knows I'm not a retard. Well, nobody has called you that. <laughs> you <don't laughs> that. <laughs> no. Let's okay. let's go. Uh, you told him, honey. <laughs> Oh, she's going to take off. Do me a favor. Turn. Well, I want to just record it. I just want to record. Okay. Well, we're getting to turn the point. Turn your car off. And listen, Wait, we're going to no. have to take this away from you. So are we refusing to do the rest of these exercises? No, of course not. Then let's not. finish of them. Of course not. Then let's I, finish I love them. you guys. Like, I don't want anything. I don't want to be in this position either, okay? I don't. I also and want I to know. Like, put, please put the phone down. I want to record all you guys. We're recording. Too. She she acts like she don't want to. Like she got that. I know you did not. Ma'am. Listen, all right, we're, she, we're done. You got here. my license? Yes. Oh, oh, here we go. The suspect's attempt to snatch her license back from deputies earns her a fast pass into handcuffs. Let's see how that goes for her. Nope. Because this is not going to end well for you. <laughs> are you kidding me? No, we are not kidding you. Give me, give me my phone. Can you give let me them know when we're five? Give me my phone. 6101 work code 5. We'll have one in custody. Give me my phone. Your phone's going with us. Your no, give me my phone. Us. No. Give me my phone. Your phone will go with you. Do you want to take this? I'll take it. Okay. No. Are Give you BTO certified? She, she, she chose that. Like, she has got some kind of going on with him. So, oh, we'll just... Really? Yes. Really? Like, you're you threatening me? No. We're going I'm walk. Please, stop. Are you going to walk with me, or are we going to have Can to I carry you to my... Can I just stop my... My... God... Can I not turn it off? We're going to take care we'll of all that. Of Is that. there anything other than your phone that you want You're to You're hurting me! You? You're hurting me! 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 Deputies are able to get Deborah down on the ground while they wait for reinforcement. Under statute 1314, uh, I'm allowed 14 right. minutes. And I'm allowed that you that I'm allowed to be picked up. Where where where's my where where am I? 13.4. Where am I? Where am I? You're in the parking lot of Ocean Gardens. Yeah. 13.14 minutes. Where the f are you? I'm standing right here next to you. Yeah. Oh, aren't you so aren't you so proud? 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Hey! This is this is Drew! This is Drew! This is Drew Life! This is, I'm, I'm your son's teacher! I'm your son's teacher! This is what they're doing to me! Uh Oh no. Get this off of me. Get this off of me. No. No. You're hurt. No. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't I can't breathe. I'm telling you, I cannot breathe. Do you need an ambulance? I need an ambulance. <laughs> 6211. She is, she's oh. hurt me. She's hurt me. She's hurt me. 6211. Can you roll rest? No, no, Our arrestee is unable to breathe. <laughs> I love this cop. I love this cop so You're so sick. You're so sick. You're sick. Deputies call an ambulance for our suspect who decides <laughs> it's time for the performance of a lifetime. Can you please just so I can breathe? <laughs> oh, this is it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> So what we're going to do is we're going to turn you on your side. Let's go, Glory B. Oh, no. This is an exorcism. Just make him close. <laughs> Later, other that. deputies and medics arrive to help. Do you want me to pause while she says something? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I do want you to pause. It's so quiet now. <laughs> <laughs> it gets really good. It, 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 like, this is only halfway, right? <laughs> it's going to get really good. And there's more, like, stuff that happens with her as well. Yeah. Like, God damn it, Deb. Yeah. If uh, Nix is going to have competition, that's all I'm saying, like, He's, he's gonna step his to, acting game up. He's, yeah, he's gonna have to up the ante, right? When it comes to his little meltdowns now, he goes to Florida. Hey, hey. Ah! hey ma'am, ma'am, ah! ma'am, ah! ma'am. Ah! 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 the phone right now. Ah! She is easy. Ah! She didn't want that. No, so she, that hurt. Her, she hurt me. She hit me. She hit me in the face. Deputies momentarily she calm down our suspect, face. who seems to have recovered <laughs> from that breathing issue. Okay. So no injuries. You're just a little unbalanced. Sorry. Okay. She was claiming she couldn't breathe okay. earlier. Okay. <laughs> Okay, listen, talk to me. No, she's a liar. Okay, talk to me. You liar. Okay, talk to me. Liar. Now, why don't you go home? Deb. 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 Okay. I'm here. Let's talk, okay? No. Can I, can I stand you up? Of course you can. Okay. I'm going to stand you up. All right? Ready? Okay, ready? One, two, three. While deputies load Deborah into a patrol car, other investigators search her vehicle. No top. Yeah, no top in the back. Oh, my. Did you see that? 
Let's yeah, rewind. Deputies find an open bottle of wine in Deborah's car, but that's oh. not all. Hey, we got we got more yeah, wine. Find a hold but it's not open. wine. Oh no! <gasps> Investigators no, find a full it. bottle of wine and a completely empty bottle in the front seat of our suspect's car. Before all is said and done, deputies uncover two empty bottles of wine, one half full bottle and one unopened bottle. Deborah. And they're all full. One deputy prepares to drive Deborah to the station. When it seems clear, our suspect should have said, no way, Rosé. <laughs> there you go. She's not running the car me. with her. She's just her. Another deputy goes to check on that situation. She swallowed a piece of dust. Watch this. He's joking me. Now watch this. There's no one in there. Ma'am. <laughs> Deputies are able to calm Deborah down again and get her to the station for a breathalyzer <laughs> test. You act, you act like I'm some kind of crazy person. Just stop. <laughs> Bitch, you are. And stop. Stop. Let go of me. Let go of me. Please, we're not going to we're me. not going to do this again. We are not going to do this again. Oh, 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 what are you doing? Yeah. No, we good. No, we're good. No, we're good. These cops. Come on, sit. Thank you. Stop. 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 No. Stop it. If you bite me, did you no, just another charge? Okay. Stop. So stop. Relax. Did you catch that? Deborah appears to bite at the deputy. Get off of me, Deb. Relax. Get off of me. Relax, Deb. Get off of me. Relax. Get off of me! Relax. You're choking! Nobody's choking. You're choking me! No one's choking you, Dad. Relax. Stop. You're choking me. Relax. Oh, God damn it. You're choking me. Why you guys have her? Yeah. I, yeah, I have it in the You're stupid. Before heading to jail, our suspect hurls a few more insults. Can you please open your mouth for me so I can make sure you can don't you have to please open up? your mouth and shut the f*** up? I gotta okay. check. But can he check? Can he just look? No. Okay. Check her Mouth. Okay. Ooh, Another loud tantrum. Oh, He's my. Not. Stop! Stop! Quit hurting me! Stop! Let's go arrest time. And a racial rant. Oh, wow. You're so, you're so, you're, you're united. Wow. A black person and a white person united. But you don't give a f about oh, her. Mm -hmm. You stupid. You hate her. You hate her because she's black. You can't stand it. Because she gets everything that you think is no, wait, hold on. Get away. I got one more thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, yeah. One more thing. Oh, yeah. Deborah. Yeah. Deborah. Say, oh, she gets everything. Oh, she shouldn't get everything. She shouldn't get she. That's a poor guy. If you refuse to take the test, I have sit down. You didn't tell me sit down. All before suddenly forgetting how to speak English. I don't speak 
No, she doesn't speak English. Uh, uh, interpreter right now. And if I am denied an interpreter, I will be. I can't stop watching. <laughs> Deputies managed to get Deborah to the jail where things don't exactly cool down. I'm weirdo. Stop! God! Do you like? Battery on Leo. Battery on Leo. Oh, yeah, you have, no, it's not you, like, you stupid. Uh, we both know what you did. I, I had to stop. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm having breast cancer. I'm having right. breast cancer. <laughs> I'm under. Stop well, it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like sorry. big no. man upstairs. Okay. Trying to help us, lady. Deborah's search before she's taken inside the jail where she's asked to remove her jewelry. Spoiler alert. She doesn't take that request very well. We have to take the jewelry off. It's not going to happen. Lisa, we don't want to use for We need to put it in the chair. Stop! Stop hurting me! No. Stop! Oh, my. 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 Oh, About this, Deborah. Well, <laughs> right, we're going to be talking about this, right? Stop it! <laughs> Wake up, you're this is your son's teacher, Tiffany. Mother. Right. Ow! Ow! You're breaking my yard, you mother. Stop. Deputies then decide it's time to restrain our suspect in a chair. Let's see oh, yes. that's my favorite. Get off of me! 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 Say that again. Thanks. Her, can you, yeah, turn the volume on the video down just a smidgen? Her echo is like, it's just getting to me. <laughs> it's nearly ended, fortunately. It is really fucking loud. She just yeah. blows your ears apart. But this is the best bit. And listen to what she says when they put her in this thing. Because, like, oh, they silence no. the they silence the lambs her, and it's the best. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to when she's wheeled out. <laughs> I bet she chokes. And keeping up with her antics, deputies decide to place a spit mask over Deborah's head. And this is where we ended up. I'm trying to work with you. I'm not doing anything to you. Oh, no. You missed a banshee. Deborah Odom was charged with DUI and resisting arrest. 
She later pled no contest to the charges and was sentenced <laughs> to probation along with the suspended license and fines. See, here's the thing. This fucking bitch just got probation. No, I missed it. Oh, God. oh, you missed it. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Yeah. <laughs> she, as they fucking win her out, she's like, oh, Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least her dreams came true. So yeah, that, that's what Negus has got to look forward to in his life when he escapes all of his woes and goes to Florida. You know, he's gonna have a great time in Florida. I'm happy for him. I'm excited for his next life in Florida. He's excited. You know, he's gonna. <laughs> Jiggle and wiggle around in competition with that fucking one. See who can thrust the gun up in the air high enough. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Let's have a little. Watch me go, watch me go, baby, like some play-doh. Watch me go, watch me go, baby, like some play-doh. He loves it. See? Oh, boy. <laughs> He's fucking oh, up. boy. It will be fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that was a nexty old time, wasn't it? Olaf, you need to go back and watch that fucking video we just played. Seriously, it's like 20 minutes long or something. You put it on like 1.5 even. Watch Dude. it. Seriously. You'll piss your pants. I love watching fucking stupid car videos like that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just thought let's have a little taste of Florida life, shall we? <laughs> He's gonna have a great time. <laughs> yeah. Even better, DC's gonna have a great time witnessing all that and his interaction with it. Oh, well, thank you guys for coming. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, on our next stream, we're gonna have all the whistles and bells, probably. We're gonna be we might even do, yeah, members stuff and uh, get the emojis and get it all going and glowing, as you say. Yeah, keep an eye out. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming. We'll play you yeah, out. We had a fun time. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye. See you in the next one.